Good evening, folks, and welcome to Alber Adventures in Alberon. I've flubbed it again. It's two weeks in a row. It's okay. Two more tries. <laughs> uh, I am your dungeon master, Kara, and uh, here with me I have Hannah, Matt, Ish, <laughs> someone, <laughs> Miles, Olive, and of course our regular dungeon master, Joe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fix that camera because Matt hit it with his nose and something. <laughs> We also should fix this other camera. Do you have can, yes, my nose? Is just oh, really. I do. And we have snow. 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 We have snow. Oh, oh, snow. Oh, snow. Oh, snow. That's so cool. It's appropriate. It's, yeah. it's appropriate. Yeah, no. Sea of ice. Here we go. Winter mm -hmm. Wonderland. It was snowing out where I live today. Uh, the and other camera like, is. Uh, I was like, you right went the edge. back and. This one? Like, oh, you fixed it. Are we good? Yep. You were I'm committed. Right. We were on our break screen for a little too long, folks. I <laughs> see your ice. <laughs> if it kills me. Let's snap into it. This is really riveting content. It is. Thank you for joining us here, though. Behind the screens. You may notice we're wearing special fancy hats today, all except for Joe. Oh, sure. That's because this is our birthday boy today, folks. Yay! Also, it is Hannah's birthday week. So it's it's birthday true. Wednesday. Deflect that over there. Guys. So it's special birthday events here. Special birthday events. Uh, we'd like to also thank Sirenscape for providing us a platform on which to play our lovely theme music. Not a sponsor. It should be. Should be. It's serious Rad. business here. Rad. I'm so sorry. And, and, and the straps pull it in in a goofy I'm way. I'm so sorry, Kara. <laughs> You're not. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Last time. We've... <laughs> it's almost worse. I'm creating, I'm creating my own world it's here. A lot. There's a lot going on. There is no so good. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna do the recap now. <laughs> Last time. Thank you. <laughs> we met our party as they were getting ready to board the ship that would take them on their mission for coin. Their patron. They met their patron Afrin, and when they had introduced their new cohort Kylan they set sail on a two week journey some of our fi our party members ingratiated themselves to the crew others did not and some really just rubbed the mages the wrong way <laughs> so gay uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, along pretty well. he called him noble yeah while doing a standard check through the ship's contents, Kylan noticed that one of the crates had been opened and went to investigate with his fellow party members. Uh, with him, ahead of him was our faultless stealthy tracker, Phoebe, and slightly less silently, Soke King. <laughs> they discovered Rum gremlins hiding in the hold had stowed away from port and caused a little mayhem in the cargo area. Quickly dispatching them, but also getting a wee bit tipsy while doing so. Uh, our erstwhile heroes found that the cargo hold had always been empty. Crates and barrels with nothing inside but filler. Seals unbroken. Maelstrom casually insulted the intern of the wizards, and, you know... Not casually, it was high-level insult. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a level of insult. <laughs> it was at least a second-level insult. It was a second-level insult. Uh, you used a spell slot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and upon returning to the top of the ship, they reached the salt air, except for Maelstrom, who bravely sauntered on slowly only to discover that ice had been f seen off in the distance and approached rapidly and grabbed the ship bringing your voyage to a screeching grinding halt many of you barely escaped with your noses intact except for Choppa who grabbing a flyby rope was able to zip around the outside of the ship as it rocked in place and see the extent of the ice which now holds you still. Chapa being a monk is so goofy to me. <laughs> Greg Man is not monk. sorry. <laughs> and with that, let's get back into it. 
You find yourselves on a ship that was once moving at quite a clip and is now stalled in ice. Most of you lying face down on the deck that you're currently on, aside from Jopla. Am I hanging? Hanging? I would say you've le- you've landed now. You had enough momentum from that creek to kind of like what? do a nice like Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back on the deck. <laughs> Well, Phoebe's stunned, so she's just lying there. Um, what do I see when I'm swinging around the ship? Do What's in the... Can I see the ice that I, <laughs> below us? Oh, certainly. The ice itself has sort of melded to fit the side of the ship and has kind of creaked up so that you have almost like... Words. It looks like this! <laughs> so okay. it comes together to form like a, sure. almost like a... Together. Yes, yes, cool. it's like this. It's like two hands closing around, but the fingers are just sure. over the edges the of the ice. So there's no water behind us? Cool. It's no. just all ice. It's just ice. all ice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Are we unstunned, those of us who are? You are, you are unstunned. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that lasted only a week. Oh. <laughs> it's been one week. It, 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 it lasted about like 30 games. Five seconds. laughs going zipping yeah. around yeah. the ship by themselves. <laughs> like, Shipping away at the ice, yeah. making dinner, eating dinner, going to sleep, waking up. Yeah. I, um, stand up and quick scan around any immediate threats other than the ice. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. It's like that's shocking, and there's maybe more. Uh, Can I fly perception up is twenty-three. And do a perception check from the crow's nest as well. You certainly may. Twenty-three. Yeah. Wait for Phoebe. Um, dirty twenty. Nice. Uh, I'm looking ship oriented, obviously. So you're looking ship. That's all I can see. I'm so assuming, right? Okay. This is kind of blocking the horizon, sort of. So it's not high enough to like be oh, a oh, barrier oh, to oh, your oh, vision. Okay. It's more just like reaching up the sides of the ship, kind of holding it in place. Okay, I'll hop up here and do a 360 as far as I can. <laughs> Sorry. As far, I, no I had to know it as far as yeah. I can. Oh, nice, yeah. Oh, slowly <laughs> uh, So with your 20, you see that it's a vague, empty, arctic wasteland. Uh, a few hills of ice off in the distance and maybe something further north but it's difficult to tell because it gets misty after a while Mm -hmm. Uh, with a 23 uh, you note that the ice has started crawling up the sides of the ship as well not just bracing it uh, but frosting it over okay Uh, it's still climbing but at a much slower rate Right, um, take a look. I think it's trying to get on board. Uh, the whole thing, all of it, everything, the ice, um, everyone. As you please. say that, uh, the captain comes rushing over. Where? Where do you see it? Not right there, and there, there, I mean, everywhere, really. Oh, well. Looking at this ice, does it look like it's the end of a, like, a spell effect, or does this look like it might be something that's, like, continuing to grow? We an Arcana check. Good keywords to trigger that roll. Look at that, yeah. It's like I play D&D, like D&D but I never roll dice because that is going to be... Oh, and also I'm not a dumb nerd. Six. <laughs> not a dumb nerd indeed. That's, that's an iceberg. You've, you've crashed into an iceberg, these fools. Does the mist seem uh, like there's anything more to it than just it's foggy out here? <laughs> yes, I want to do an arcana check, but I'm trying to I'm trying to be cool about it. Uh-huh. Uh, ten. It's yes. Way to be cool about Misty it. Misty as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Captain comes, has come rushing over. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, fuck me. All right. Someone better alert the mages downstairs that we have to, you know. Heat up the water around us, I guess. I'm just gonna start sheet watering uh, as a cantrip. Tiny little bits, cube by cube, (laughs) little bits away, splashing it down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just handle, I put my mug down and just like grab it. There you go. Something that the mages could have caused. Without rolling, that's weird ice. It just appeared behind you. It's okay. Go go check with the 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 that that that, that specific mage, the very specific one that you love to wait, love to dress. I'm sorry, I don't know who the fuck that was for a second. I'm sorry, I hit my head a little hard. <laughs> I will do so. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. 
mm-hmm. and go find these mages again. Awesome. Give me the noble arch mage. <laughs> the noble arch wizard. <laughs> Uh, so you see the, th- the uh, four remaining wizards uh, kind of huddled together, discussing, paging through a few different books and tomes. Uh, another one kind of has an arcane focus that she's trying to, like, warm up again. Uh, you see the arch wizard uh, standing... Noble. What? Noble. <laughs> Archduke Wizard Noble. <laughs> Duke Noble, the Arch Wizard. Uh, so you see the Arch Wizard standing amongst them, um, as well as uh, three not Arch Wizards, but, but they seem well appointed in their robes, probably of some station. Are they preoccupied right now? Yes. I would like to use my eye for detail uh-huh. to try and uncover or decipher clues to see whether the mages could be involved in anything uh, untoward, given that that we're transporting nothing, or presumably nothing, sealed, and uh, the ice is like, put us in a position that makes us rely on the mages for getting through this even more than we already have been. Mayfield. It's the intern. <laughs> you yeah. thought I had it there. Uh, Buddy, like, We've been talking. For, if, if anyone in the comments remembers what I named that arch wizard, please have at. <laughs> Tell in your only hope. Uh, if you would like to know about their intent, roll insight with advantage. If you would like to catch clues from the surroundings, roll investigation with advantage. Good eye for insight. That is a natural one. <laughs> advantage. With advantage, advantage. so roll yes. again. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're all just relearning how to play D&D, <laughs> yeah, apparently. Yeah. 27. Ooh, 27. That's what you'd like, yes. <laughs> so with a 27, uh, you note that while the wizards are very concerned about the sudden stop, uh, one seems a little less concerned about the matter at hand uh, and seems to be focused more on finding a specific spell in the tome and that requires the use of a few interesting ingredients that you don't have on board. Hmm. Does this particular wizard have those things on their person? You hear them discussing different options for getting the ship moving again. Uh, Quite a few centered around fire. Hmm. Uh, (laughs) Evocation is dad magic. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, While the tiefling wizard of the group uh, suggests a spell that if they wait she should be able to prepare it takes long t- a long time in the casting mm-hmm. about 24 hours mm-hmm. all right i'm going to say noble arch wizard <laughs> <sighs> is everything okay it is, my Lord so- Soggy? Close enough! <laughs> the captain needs you above deck. We've run into ice, and it is spreading quickly upon the deck. If the captain required me up on the upper deck, she can come and get me herself. I do not answer to her. I answer to our mutual patron. Sans. She... Well, <laughs> yeah, <whoa. laughs> it would really help if you just. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you lift up your mask? Is this for oh this my crazy? god! Go ahead and roll for persuasion. I think it would be an advantage because this is kind of pathetic. <laughs> yeah. It's disarming. It's very disarming. Yeah, right. <laughs> Begging. <laughs> That's appropriate. Shit. That's oh, appropriate. Man. For a 10. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, well, right. so wait, you rolled a no, nat one? No, sorry, for a four. Yeah, nat one. Yeah, well, it's like a ten. Uh, it's folks, I know this right. isn't rules as written, but I really love a crit fumble. <laughs> <laughs> Could you just, like, it would be really helpful if you just went up and, you know, just said something. I don't know. Just... Are you about to cry? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we're very, <clears throat> we're very busy. We have very important work. We have to get this ship moving again, if you don't mind. If the captain wishes to speak with me, as I said, she can come speak with me herself. <laughs> okay, that's, that, <clears throat> that's fine. I will relay the information to her. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> At this point, we're all the other wizards now, like, stopping. Oh, yes, everyone's yeah, just yeah, observing yeah, yeah, yeah. this. <laughs> this is, like, the most entertainment they've had the all week. The second Soge shouts out, noble arch wizard, they're just like, oh, yeah, I'll get them out <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to uh, very quickly leave. They all watch you go. <laughs> I like bump into the wall as I'm going out. Oh. Uh, the rest of you, uh, the crew is hurriedly running around. They've got poles out. They're trying to break the ice below. Oh, yeah, I'd be helping with that. Yeah, something shape and water. Yeah. Shape and water. One ice cube at a time. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> um, Ooh. At a point when 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 you're shaping right next to it, you know, and I'm prodding, it's like, do you think we should <clears throat> talk to patron? <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, do you think we should talk to our patron about um, the empty crates? You know, if we've, we've gotten in with having one of them capture gremlin thingies, so we really can just pin it all on them that you know one broke and we saw in it and there was nothing there, blah blah. You know, what I mean. <sighs> I feel like there's a lot here I don't like. The only person I do would be Yale, I think. She's all right. But everyone else, I don't fucking know. Why Yale? I, I don't know. I don't know. Some, some history. I'm still trying to remember. But, you know, I feel, I feel, I feel good, good things about her. Yeah. Phoebe's going to come down and have joined this conversation. Um, and she's going to say, probably best to deal with the situation <laughs> at hand first. Well, that's what I'm doing. See? <laughs> and you're doing great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, well, so Phoebe's going to look around and, and look at, like, everyone's, like, using their arms to do things, and she's just going to look down and be like, shall I go speak with Avrin then? <sighs> yes, but I don't know that we can trust them. Right, right, exactly. What? I trust <laughs> Look around. No, you're like, you're like flowers, right? That's what that is. It's just a flower. It's, he's not the they're flowers. Quite, they're, flowers are divine. Oh, I wholeheartedly Sunburn agree. Beach. No, no, no. Excuse me. <laughs> I <laughs> like. Kylie. Right. Right. But right. We didn't load those crates. That was very specifically specified as part of the condition of our employment. It makes me nervous that maybe our patron has other intentions for us. But we're gonna get paid, so it's fine. <laughs> right you are, <laughs> Topa. <laughs> there's like a quick, there's no like, you don't have to establish the psychic connection, but yeah. everybody just kind of, I think at the same time, is like, RK Chopra. <laughs> <laughs> um, still, perhaps a good idea to check in. As we are well stuck are having after this all. discussion on the upper deck where everyone's hurriedly trying to like loosen the ship from the ice, uh, the bosun Dolquin kind of like just barges through your conversation. Move or help, don't just stand here. <laughs> I'm gonna stop I'm shaping just, water. <laughs> still, I mean, do you have anything better than this? He's like, like just barged through, just like. Think, <laughs> right, right. Um, <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna. How thick does the water or ice look? How thick does the water look? How thick does the ice look? It's dummy thick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's quite thick. Uh, when Maelstrom shapes water, uh, Maelstrom is basically breaking off a cube Shaving. of ice and there's ice below it. So he's making like snow cones down there. How far there. down? 
you, you haven't reached the water yet. Well, no, no, how far down to the to the ice from the ship? Oh, what? like does it come all the way up to like here, or is it the can ice? I, can like... I safely hop down? Is so really what I'm asking. Now, as we've been sitting here discussing, yes, the ice on one side of the ship to the right has come up just enough that it's about a five foot drop to the ice below. Right. Wow, they really got up here. <laughs> I'm gonna go down. That was and fast. I'm gonna go down. Okay, uh, is there any? Mm, mm, is there any organic material nearby that I could grab? Like fucking plant stuff or whatever. Not the like plant stuff. The ship's made like of wood. Food? Yeah, I guess so. That's true, huh? Mm. I'm gonna poke it with my. Metal warhammer and just sort of hold it there, see if it does anything to it. Start to grow on it. It's taking a shine to it. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> low hanging fruit. <laughs> uh, you touch your warhammer to the ice, and it stays. It's fine. Okay. The frost doesn't cover it. Okay. Any more than frost normally would when you stick a metal object well, in a very know. cold environment. No, no, it's a bad, it's yeah. a valid point. You have you've done a good thing. Because mm. I've gathered you've a done piece well. of information well done. about well done. Well done. it's kind of regular. <laughs> uh, I will say you've noticed that the progress of the ice seems to have halted. Okay, I'm gonna start cracking it with my warhammer. Uh, go ahead and away. give me an attack roll with that warhammer. <laughs> sure. Are you guys afraid to stand on the ice? Has no. a 20. <laughs> can I hit ice with the 20? Yeah. <laughs> you can hit ice with the 20. It's more of a threshold, you know? Yep, yep. You, you have hit the ice with the 20, and indeed, how much have you broken this ice? I've broken nine oh. of, of ice. Yeah, nine so, ice. <laughs> uh, so you break off uh, what is about like a, a, a square foot of ice, uh -huh. uh, and it's kind of cut cleanly through the section that had approached the side of the ship. Uh-huh. Uh, now, this is very important. When I did that, did I see the ice react in any way? No. It's part of one of the hunting things is elemental stuff, so yeah. I'm going to see if I can put that together. Yeah. Stop that! The <laughs> no! I'm in the ocean! That hurt! <laughs> the seas are unhappy with you. <laughs> you were getting lost. I was trying to help, jerk. I, the, the ice... It's it doesn't nice. react. It's, it seems to be inert metal. All right. I'm uh, going to continue just breaking off chunk after chunk. After. Well, he does that. Anyone else still on the ship with the rest of the crew can give me a perception or an insight check. I think after a little bit of, you know, like, wiping out the tears from under the mask, if I head back <laughs> up. <laughs> you know, from regain my composure. Ooh, 15 for perception for Phoebe. 15 for insight. Oh. 10 insight. Okay. Are you still? Are you? It's fine if you're still below decks, just well, weeping. <laughs> World does advance because your need, eyes are wet. Yeah. <laughs> we all need a good cry. It's fogged up your glasses. Is this perception or insight? Perception and insight seem different things. Um, twenty-three perception. No. Twenty-three perception. Lovely. Uh, with your fifteen percent, you scrolled perception as well. For detail. I got fifteen insight, perception. Ten. So with your fifteen perception. Uh, you can see crew have kind of stopped their work. It's taking a lot of effort from the bosun to get them back into line. Uh, the crew isn't particularly large. There's a grand total, including captain, of 22 crew members. And most of the able-bodied sailors have stopped their work and seem to be carefully watching the ice and talking amongst themselves. What's Yell doing? Yell with your. Would you like to use your inside check for Yale specifically? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Yale is nervous. She's uh, pacing back and forth. Uh, she's trying to get her people in line along with the bosun. Um, you see, the crew doesn't really react as well to her as they do to the bosun. Um, and she's kind of like headed in this moment now to your patron store. Uh, it seems like she wants to have a word. I want to go listen in on that without being noticed. Do okay. you want to go check that out? With your 20 um, perception. 23. 23. 
Uh, with your 10, you, you just see crew whispering. It doesn't seem weird. It's like they're just having tests. Uh, with your 23. Jeff was listening into the crew. As you're coming up from below decks, you catch a few whispers on the wind. You are able to hear some of what they say. This is what we get for having the mages on board. Umberly's mad. We have to... We should have we should have made the appropriate sacrifices. That's that we should have just let Maltram handle this. Maltram's got all the you know Maltram's got well friendly terms with Umberly. Maltram could have been able to handle this for us. Why do we have to go the Mage Guild? You watch Yale stride forward towards the patron's cabin, what should be hers. She raises a winged fist grabs the knocker, and very aggressively knocks on at the door. Did you say winged fist? She's, she's an Eric Crocker. Oh. She's got little oh, fist. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so it is. Sorry. Was a human. Sorry, was it Yale who was talking just then? No. That I overheard? It? Crew it members. The, oh, the crew members. Yes. Okay. Is the cabin structured in such a way that there are, like, windows to the outside that Phoebe could, like... Peeking through, do you know what I mean? Phoebe could. The right. rest of the the rest of the crew certainly not. Yeah. Uh, so because Phoebe, they're on the outer edge of the ship. Right, right. Okay. So Phoebe's gonna nod to Maelstrom and then fly off and um uh with the help of her immovable rod, uh listen in uh, try to listen and watch through the window at whatever this conversation is. Go ahead and give me a perception <clears throat> check with the panic. Uh, um that didn't sound good. No. Well, no, no. It's one of them was a natural one, but thank you hey. for the advantage. You're welcome. Yeah. Kind. <laughs> uh, so that's 18. Okay. Phoebe. Yes? You fly to the windows. You place your immovable rod. And you settle in to look inside. And you blank out. Oh. Talon also redeemed a woe if it helps. Talon redeemed a woe. God yep. damn it. <laughs> yeah, Hannah, what's it like? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Talon. Uh, who, who do you redeem the woe for? Is that Hannah? No, just I just saw that it was redeemed, but then my thing went off, so I don't know if I got oh, the yeah. whole chat. But. It was it was a, a little while, like a couple months ago. Well, does it say for who, or does it say no. just general? It's a general word. Just general. Perfect. I'm gonna use it now. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Well, Phoebe, you blank out, and we'll come back to you. You watched Yale hammering on the door at this point. Mm -hmm. She's tried the doorknob, and it's locked. She's banging. Finally, she, she huffs turns around right if he won't come to the door we'll just have to get the ship moving on our own it's fine everyone on the ship listens to me can i hear that yes can i go over and just say why is nobody listening to you then <laughs> Sass. as your patron is unavailable i am taking full command of this ship Say one more thing like that to me again, and once the ship is moving, I'll leave you aboard. Noble Captain, alive! Indeed. I spoke with the Arch Wizard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he requested your presence downstairs as he was working very hard to make the ship back in operation. Good God's bridges. Uh, were there some missing components to what may have gotten us through this particular situation? Wait, missing like are we are we talking? I just overheard some of the crew uh, mentioning the Maldrum. Maldrum. Does that oh. ring a bell to you at all? Maldrum. <laughs> Maldrum is. Our newest crew member, I... And you see she looks a little uncomfortable. It's... 
you know, sailors are a superstitious bunch. The, it's, the captains are, we're generally on the level of nobility comparatively. We're the ones who interact with them. We're the ones that wine and dine. We're the ones that facilitate the, the voyages. The ones with the funding. You may say. The ones who procure the funding, certainly. Uh, but as such, we're sort of apart from the crew, not considered part of... That's why we have the first mate, uh, like Squinty. Uh, Joe. Joseph. He does have a name. It's Squinty. It's not Squinty. <laughs> <laughs> you hear from somewhere over, like, viciously just trying to crack away the eyes. Ah, it's Binky. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Feldstrom, you have a name. <laughs> no one's called me Joe in years. <laughs> Only my mother calls me Joe. <laughs> Usually, we we get we get on well. It's it's fine. He's he's a, a good egg. And she kind of her eyes kind of slide to Chopper. Uh, <laughs> what about eggs? <laughs> but it's it's really. Uh, they don't like the wizards being on board. It's an affront, really. And I can't say I particularly like them myself. It shows a certain lack of distrust for our abilities. If you go out of your way to hire us, why not use us to our full extent? Agreed. Well, it's a bit weird that Multrum messing with has certain so agreements with those that rule the waves that help us speed along. And the crew feels that by not honoring those agreements, we've put ourselves at risk. Mm. Could that be a reason for this curious ice predicament? I don't particularly believe that deep sea gods have their eye on every ship and really care. Mm. But we are also in the old, it's kind of uncharted territory. That's why we're here. Not many would take this. <clears throat> Does this ship have any kind of lifeboat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. Yes. They're little dinghies. Okay. Maelstrom's going to note that. And do we think that the wizards would fit on the dinghies? <laughs> Yes. Is this like a Jonah situation? Skid them off like 15 feet away. <laughs> Fuck you, walk. Over there. <laughs> well, I'm elsewhere. just thinking, in terms of, you know, science, <laughs> if we want to see if they're the problem, stick them in a boat, just shove them off, and we'll the ice follows them. Jonah. Yeah. 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 You said that it was the wizards that were the problem. Well, the crew thinks that it is. I'm not there, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. This patron seems a bit questionable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm... I'm you're taking charge, so... Would you like me to go into the, the, the captain's quarters? Just to open you can up open for it. you? Is this a dangerous enough situation I should break it down, is what I'm saying? Patron! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. What? The mask? <laughs> yeah, I know that. Became, that was like tie-dye, but words. <laughs> I like that. Tie-dye, but words is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone done a wellness check on a patron? <laughs> oh, what? A wellness check? If Kyle can take down the door, I can mend it. Right, the that's it. Is not responsive. Uh, the patron. Are you all right? <laughs> Have you been weeping? <laughs> Sorry, she doesn't know that. You've got a mask on. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Yale looks at you. Look, I got the hammer. He's got the... It's not so much that I don't believe you can take down and repair the door. Hmm. It's whether I want you to. Well, look, it's an option. <laughs> That's why You're we're asking. Tell do as you will. Uh, well, you know. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> so I will break the door down so you can fix it. Don't break That's the door it. down. I can't stop you from doing it, is what I'm saying. But uh, think about Kyle, how much you heard her. smoother yeah, I, things would go. Don't uh, do it. Fine. Respect Avery's privacy. You oaf. Is he paying do, you do, extra? Do you like something about? This? I hope so. <laughs> I, 
That'd be great. She keeps talking about flowers, but I don't think that they're going to get damaged if we just blow the door. <laughs> Our patron may be in danger. Exactly. We don't know. He might have fallen over like us. And what if the he flowers was are dangerous? Dangerous? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're right. What if the flowers? Oh, my goodness. The flowers could have fallen over and smashed. <gasps> oh, my God. Break down. <laughs> I feel like at that point you would just start running yeah. away. <laughs> While this is happening, <laughs> Phoebe. Oh, good. I was hoping to find out a little more personal. No! no. Right. no. <laughs> Secrets for oh, fun. Uh, fun, but no fun. Yeah. So, as uh, as Phoebe is learning secrets, are you going to smash this door down? Okay. I will help you! I think, I think that's what we should do. I think that's yeah. what I'd like to do. Maybe we should yeah. just knock first. I mean, With my hand. We, we knocked. We knocked. Yeah. Then don't talk to the captain. The knocked. captain knocked. And we got yeah. nothing. Captain knocks really are hurt. better than normal people knocks. <laughs> well, wait. Hmm. Phoebe returns to you. Oh, shit. Uh, and she flutters down onto the decks. What is a captain to a lord? Well, that seems normal to me. <laughs> It's misty day. Right. Uh, first, I'm gonna try to like regularly. My like. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, Sorry. yes. Does it seem like there's something odd? Go ahead and roll an insight check for me, okay. please. Uh, and Phoebe, if you wouldn't mind rolling a deception. Yeah. Also, like Ooh. noting that I have no, I have like what, uh, two weeks and half a day's or worth of knowledge of this person. So like. And I also, know what both, I'd be looking for. also both like. Well, that's not bad. Chaba and Maelstrom, like, yeah, break it down. Yeah, like, and then like Phoebe just comes back and is like, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, uh, okay. Um, that was. In, what was it? Investigate? No. Insight. 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 21. That's a fucking 19. You had to beat an 18. Mm -hmm. So? Kylie. off about? Phoebe is normally very forthcoming uh -huh. when she arrives back. Right. This is odd. And you reach through the psychic link. It's been broken. Mm hmm. Hmm. I have a question. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So is Phoebe back with us? I'm gonna, I guess, I, I'm gonna wait for her. Phoebe just flew back nope. down to yeah. where yeah. we all are. Nope. Okay, got it. Thank you. <laughs> Outside okay, cool. of the captain's <clears throat> door. Or the, the captain's quarters. Yeah. Um, okay. The patron's quarters, currently. Here's I'm gonna do this. I'm going to try to open the door with my hands first, forcibly. I, I think it was just a knock, if I'm not mistaken. It was a very aggressive knock. Right, yes. right, right. But there was no like attempt. To there was. It. There was. Oh, was. Mm. Um, I'm gonna do it myself first, but sort of. Oh, Master, would you mind helping me a little bit with this? Just to, like, yeah, come on. And then I'll make some really weird eyes, like <laughs> looking away from Phoebe. Hey. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll, is, I'll lean is in. Is the door locked? I can unlock a door, and she's gonna just kind of reach for her thief tools. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly make some turn. <laughs> um. Uh, okay. Percept. Like, none, none of that. Melzer was just like. That's fine. I'm still just I'm so playing through. Like, I don't know you people that well. <laughs> Perception for the rest of the group. What do I want to make of this for you? Or yeah, we'll, we'll just set a difficulty in my head. Let's, we'll do that. <laughs> okay. that. Mm. You don't have to roll. Did okay. it land like yeah. that? Wow. 21. Oh shit, you got a balance. A five. <laughs> You're worried about the flowers. That's oh yeah, no. So you both hear this. Chava's like, yeah! like, what is the motivation? Oh, right, you two flowers. don't hear it. <laughs> You're too busy in your own head. You're too busy also in your own head, but for a different reason. You're thinking about flowers. <laughs> you two hear that, which is... What? What did you say? Oh. I said, oh, so I'm not better. Just like, really quickly. What? Say it a little bit slower because they did roll high enough. It was There's 20. something off about her are the words that I used, but I said it in a very hurried, concerned tone directed at someone who I think is very much in the know about Phoebe's persona. About whom? Oh. <laughs> what? I can't hit you, and I'm gonna try to break the door down. All door. right. <laughs> and Phoebe's just with her wing is gonna like brush his hand aside and be like, Kylan, don't be ridiculous. And she's gonna, if he'll let her, she's gonna start trying to pick the lock. Like, yeah, oh, sure, sure. Kind of uh, stow it. I'm, I'm, I'm like gonna give you like a it's pretty a good birth because I don't know what's going on here. 24. Can Maelstrom pay attention? Like, Maelstrom, very interested in how Phoebe is going to pick the lock. She yeah. uses her feet. The things. Oh. In her... 
Balance. They do so yeah. with one foot, oh. like balanced. No, she's just... hovering. Yeah, owls can hover. I okay, looked it up. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> really Not as a screaming, gracefully flaps her wings and catches the air. And then with a quick flick of her talons, the door's open. Damn, that's pretty cool. Picking a <laughs> lock while flying. Nice. You open the door. Nice. <laughs> No, anyone's and right. <laughs> the door swings out. open. A gust of wind hits your face. And inside, you see a very messy office. Uh-oh. Chopa, this is concerning to you. Uh-huh. <gasps> Some of the flowers have fallen over and broken. <gasps> oh my god, Chopa immediately. <laughs> runs to the fallen flowers and starts like scooping them up in their tiny hands, re-dirtying their hands, like getting the soot in the soil, all to put it back together and trying to find like shoes or like debris and stuff to repot these plants and like slowly muttering like, not the divine flowers, like I need to save you. This is the fruit of our life right here. <laughs> see, While Choppa <laughs> Chop- g- gathers the flowers and is attempting to put them back to rights, the rest of you can see that this office is in a state of disarray. Something more than what was caused by the ship stalling in the ice. And very notably absent in this locked room. Your patient. Patron. Your patron, <laughs> Afern Goldman. This what you do notice, noticed. however, <laughs> is as she's putting the flowers back in their vase, Choppa's hands are brilliantly red. The Choppa probably doesn't Blood. notice. Blood? Like shiny? Like, like, what kind of red? It's, it's liquidy red. <laughs> liquidy red. Okay. Not illuminated. <laughs> Not illuminated. There's no fire fire here. This Does is it look alive? It, it looks, looks like it came from a not live. It oh, looks no. like it came from something that was at one time alive. And I'm now it's this much. <laughs> Chopa. I love that Chopa's just not giving me fingers. Chopa, what's on your hands? Give me your shoes. I give don't me, wear shoes. Give me them. <laughs> there are like little shards of glass in Chopa's hands. There's there's glass everywhere. I need to... Is the window the broken? The window's, window's not broken. I need, need to reach into the seeds of life. I'm going to step um. over Chopa, very concerned, but also um, I'm going to look for trapdoors. Uh, you step over Chopa. Uh, the divine. And you see as she's cleaning up the flowers that have fallen from the desk, the desk that is covered all the way to the floor, you see the body of your patron. What? What? A massive gash on his head, his face purple, his lips tinged blue. Is he awake? No, I'm kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yes, he's talking, he's conscious, he's telling, uh, yeah, he tells us everything. (laughs) (laughs) The end! Campaign over. (laughs) So real quick, um, I'm gonna go over and out loud just say, he's been killed, and I'm gonna go through (laughs) his stuff and try to just just, just grab his stuff. I wanna do an investigation check, I wanna try to take anything out of his person. Oh, you're gonna leave his body. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. Go ahead and do an investigation check, you immoral ass. It's immoral no immoral what? There's a purpose. Uh, that's not great. Murder! <laughs> eleven. Murder! Uh, I'll say with your eleven, Soga is shouting this. Uh, and you're patting him down. Uh, you find a coin pouch. Okay. Um, All it is money in it. hefty. Okay. Uh, there are a few ornamental daggers. They don't seem particularly well used. It's definitely more of a fashion statement, Mm -hmm. Um, as well as some very fine clothes on his person uh, and a couple of uh, enchanted quills. Um, In the pouch you find about like substantial, it's like 70 platinum. I'm not gonna take a look at it, but Phoebe's in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna just slide the bag over to Phoebe, hoping that Phoebe can make it disappear. Without missing a beat, she's gonna pick it up and and tuck it somewhere away on her. Gonna do a sleight of hand check on that one. I'm yeah, sleight of talent. Take a quick slide look of at talent. these brushes. These uh, the quills. Quills, quills, quills. It's a natural twenty. <laughs> for, <laughs> oh, you for a total that of twenty-eight. <laughs> it's yeah. like an extra planer. And then she's gonna <laughs> wink one of her little owl eyes. <laughs> uh, the quills are enchanted. Okay. Uh, they require no ink. They require only a command word, 
and they are connected to the caster. So kind of like a speech to text. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a, this is a uh, quill of dragon text. Yeah. <laughs> dragon speech. Um, cool, cool, cool. What else? Um, Phoebe's gonna look at, well, Phoebe knows that Soge is like pretty good at investigating. Oh, that so that reminds me. Yes, Soge shouts, there's been a murder yes. on the ship, and many people come around. Uh, so Phoebe like is trying to be like, Soge, Soge, calm I'm down, like Soge. actually use this time before the chaos erupts in here. Before you the invite chaos the that chaos. That I have, yes. Uh, to uh, use my eye for detail to see if there are any clues as to how the captain was killed. Investigation. Huh. Reminder, this is the patron, not the captain. Yeah. Yes, the patron. I keep saying, we're in the, captain. <laughs> the captain's outside, like, the why do they keep calling him the captain? <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole time you told Gail that you were going to go check on the captain. So. Yeah. I'm going to try to get out of the cabin. Is like the crowd. I don't want to be stuck in this because it's like it's like being in a football game. I want to, yes. you know, I want to get, get out. out early. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to beat the rush. Mm-hmm. But also, as I do, I'm looking for anybody who looks like they're not reacting to this, like they already knew. Insight from you. Uh, that was with advantage. Oh, it's an advantage. Because you're using your thing. Mm, but, but, uh, Twenty-one. Sweet. Uh, for you? Eighteen. Eighteen. I uh, will do the the uh, investigation first. Uh, so okay. The door was locked. Mm-hmm. The blood seems to be pooling, but more than it should. The the wound on his head uh, seems like it was a post-mortem injury. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're familiar with what a body looks like once it's already been dead, d- died, killed, deceased. Deadened. Deadened. <laughs> uh, you're familiar with what that looks like when they are then poked. Uh, and this one appears to have been Poked. It seems like the gash on his head, which is on the back, uh, is more from a fall, and you indeed note the blood on the desk. You, with your 21, you said? Uh, yes. Uh, with your 21, it seemed with his symptoms that he was asphyxiated. Oh, okay. Uh, so someone, are there any um, marks that would seem like they were intentionally done in sort of a revenge way after having been strangled and presumably like knocked back on the back of their head no like no other piercing marks correct okay cool the gash seems to be incidental oh. with an 18 sorry i just made up the most ludicrous crime in my mind and it's <laughs> definitely not that he was autoerotically asphyxiating himself slipped and in his final moments was like i have to convince them this is not how i died and he just oh, clubbed no. himself in the <laughs> sorry for ruining your adventure as i die <laughs> getting me i die. No, figured it out guys we can, uh, we can call this one early you solved my riddle <laughs> <laughs> The Sphinx is like, oh man, I didn't even get to come out. <laughs> Damn. Asphyxiated. <laughs> uh, you see the crew rushes forward. There's a couple that yeah. hang back but seem disturbed by this revelation. Uh, the captain, of course, is hot on the heels, uh, on your heels specifically, into the cabin to see what has become of the patron. Uh, she seems a little pleased with herself. <clears throat> Not necessarily herself, but just pleased at the situation. She is now truly the authority on the ship. Mm -hmm. You also take note of the bosun hastening down below decks. I'll follow them. Are you following closely behind? Are you, uh, stealthy? Stealthy. Stealthy. Not great. Um, Twelve. I'm just checking my my stats. Hey, that's a man. (laughs) (laughs) He's he's got business. Uh, So Dolquin heads downstairs. Do I still have a connection with Phoebe, or is that gone for me as well? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
the whole time, no matter what. Uh, it's just like anytime there's an action that could have ulterior motives. I like that Kylan is trying to like tell everybody like something's going on and nobody's no, no, shit. <laughs> no, no shit's given. Sometimes she has weird. You head down and if you follow Dolquin, the bosun, as he makes his way down and down to the wizards. You lag behind and you wait on the second deck with an open door to the lower deck. Right, the patron's dead. So that means captain's in charge now. So get your shit together. Get this boat moving. Let's get out of here. It's not good that we're just sitting in the still water. I don't like it. Captain don't like it. Crew don't like it. I personally like it if we could just throw you overboard, but Captain hasn't decided yay or nay. She thinks you can still do some. I don't. And you. And you hear a little, like, ah. uh, it sounds vaguely familiar. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's Mayfield. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't get this shit moving, I'll cut you myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you hear footsteps as the bosun begins to approach the ladder. I'm just gonna stand there. <laughs> <laughs> so bosun comes up. I'm just gonna nod at him. Goes double for you. <laughs> what does? <laughs> I'm just tying my shoe. <laughs> Give me an intimidation check. Let's see, boys got laces. <laughs> <laughs> Not great. <clears throat> I rolled a four, so that's gonna be a twelve. You have to do the rhyme like oh, bunny ears. <laughs> well, also, Maelstrom isn't bending down. He's not. Yeah, his shoes are both tied. The bosun looks down at your boots, which require no tying. No. <laughs> he looks back up at you. He just kind of nods. His shoulders pass you. Okay. The rest of you. I'm gonna lean in, look at the wizards, and I'm gonna give them a nod. And I'm gonna turn around and walk you, upstairs. You, you only catch Mayfield from that <laughs> angle, but he just kind of looks up and he's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Enemies for life. <laughs> uh, the rest of you uh, in the cabin still. Uh, the crew has kind of assembled around you, yell at the front. So. Yeah, sorry. Well, I'm not really particularly upset. We've already been paid. You've already been paid too, right? Have we? Have we? No. Uh uh. At least I haven't. Unknown. <laughs> Would I have noticed this bag shuffle in my. No. No. That's no. God. I feel like no. that was like a practice move. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, was a, that was a full nat 20 sleight of hand. Like, yeah. No yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was in my mind, Maelstrom just being like. Phoebe knows how to make things disappear yeah. and just like sliding it over. It like, wouldn't be the first bag of coffee. I heard Sogi start a dead making body. a huge deal yeah. and being like, we have very limited time. We've done this before. Uh, sorry, there was a question to me. I got distracted. Have we gotten paid? The thing? Oh, we, know, yes. we don't know whether. You have not gotten paid. Okay. okay. The Ooh. payment was promised on arrival in the port mm. arrival once the shipments, cargo, and personhood of your patron. We're secure. Oh, shit. Well, Phoebe's gonna go. Chaba doesn't. Oh, yeah. It's not. We appear to have failed. <laughs> well, uh, in our... Is he dead? Anyone check if he's dead? Like, pulse and all that? Is it an illusion? Is it... <laughs> She's just gonna stare at Kylan, but like... Really awesome. <laughs> yeah, for... you, you, you come over here for a second. Yeah, you know, let him go do his thing, and I go... Thing, that you're looking is the chamber of secrets in there? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> chamber of secrets you had for that. I'm so sorry. That's okay. If you can text that to me, I'll come over. Have I returned at this point? Uh, yeah, I will say that uh, in a couple minutes. Uh, Soge, you check the body. No roll required. No pulse. I'm dead. <laughs> He's dead. dead. He's right. very dead. Uh, and you have it upon closer inspection, definitively 
asphyxiation as the cause of death. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say from your check earlier, you also notice um, a large amount of documentation on mm -hmm. the desk uh, and a few objects that seem to have been in drawers that are now put on top. Mm. Uh, so there's an interesting kind of scroll case with different runes on it, mm. um, as well as uh, strange configurations of maps that don't quite make sense. Mm. Um, Sorry. Sorry. Correct. <laughs> the timing on that was so good. I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah. mean to, uh, that was like for when you were done. Correct, correct number two. Got it, thank you. This is what happens when you tell your players that secrets happen and sometimes mm. you remember and sometimes you forget. Choppa, <laughs> uh, go ahead. Give me a nature check. Okay. Uh... <laughs> So Somebody the got blood all is over like them. gathering them. They took off one of their shoes and is like putting all the flowers into their shoe. Like, oh, I'll take care of you. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. A natural too. No. Them flowers dead. Oh. What? <laughs> They're dead. Some of them dead. <laughs> The Inchopa screams in bloody murder <laughs> in there, like... That was really bad murder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How could this have happened? The, Who did it? The enchantment on some of the blooms was broken, it seems, when the stems were broken. <gasps> Chaba is weeping furiously, unconsolably, into their shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, uh, Phoebe, mind if I steal you for a sec? What? I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> she, like, shuffles over yeah. to where he is. Ah! So, so, what did you, what did you see when, when, you, when you went around? Whoop! Uh, <laughs> what did I what? You're, what you're, did you see when you went around? I'm pumping it into the window. The, uh, into right, what was possession. inside the window? Hold on, this is yeah, too much going on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sleight of hand while they are having their discussion. What do you mean, what did I see? I saw the window. No, but within the window, in the room, what did you see in the room? It's a room. Yeah, but did you, was he alive or was he dead at the time? But you, you can see what's in the room. Well, currently, yeah, but not when you were there. We hadn't opened the door yet. I don't know what you're talking about. But you were, well, then what were you doing back there? I looked in the window, Kylan, and I, then but, I came back but, and unlocked the door. And you saw nothing in the window. She shrugs her little owl shoulders like... I mean, f sh f sure, fine, all right, all right. Well, sorry, sorry, I really didn't mean to, you know. Hmm. What is the result of your sleight of hand check? 18? <laughs> I'm gonna go like walk over to that side of the ship and just like make sure, not really caring if anyone sees me, but then just like poke my head over to see if there's anything on that side of the ship. No, I didn't. <laughs> it's just the ship. Did right. I bring my rod back with me? You I did. I did. Tap, tap the side of the ship like, okay, right? <laughs> Just turn right around. Honestly, mm. Kylan. Yeah, right, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But I'm just trying to help, that's it. Well, I think we need to focus. Right. As new captain, uh, I think it's high time we get the ship moving again. More trip! Uh, and you see... Uh, kind of like everyone else on the ship is well built as far as crewmates uh, they've got a sturdy frame they've got an awkward gate from years at sea this one does not uh, he is a little bit more lanky uh, he's got while he has nicely mu muscled upper arms the legs seem a little bit uneasy uh, especially for the five of you having been at sea for a while having experience with imbalance <laughs> Uh, this person is not particularly graceful on the water. Mm. Yes, yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Uh, you, you called M Mortrim, if you could please do some, you know, of your... And she kind of, like, looks around at the crew. If you wouldn't mind beseeching the Great One below, 
for aid or her forgiveness for the trespasses we have committed. Uh, and you see the being you assume is more trim, this lanky, yep, m mildly muscular, only in the upper body. He skipped leg day. Uh, Human? Health, half elven. Half elven. Hmm? Half elven, not fish man. Not fish man. <laughs> oh, not this time. Uh, he's just, is also here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I can, I can try that. I can try that. Uh, and he takes a necklace out, and he grips the symbol. I can't, I can't do it with all of you watching. Right. Completely understand, mate. No worries. All right, everyone. Let's I'm just all gonna go to the front of the deck. I'm just gonna go to the to the prow and. Let's and all go to the back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, let's be uh, don't. Sorry. Uh, and he kind of like stumbles over. You see the crew kind of rolls their eyes a little bit. <sighs> Yell shakes her head. He's new. <laughs> With alas, you know it's. Fell, our last warlock, was with us for many years, and she met with a bad end, some gambling debts. So we had to pick up the first one we could at port, and that's how we have Mortrim. Supposedly, he has a connection with Amberley. I don't particularly believe it, but, you know, again, it's all about perception with crew. He's got the right amulet, I guess, but... Yeah, we'll just hope we can do something. At the very least, it'll keep the crew under control. Oh. <laughs> yes, Lord Soge. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Kylan and Soge, uh -huh. uh, go ahead and give me a history check. Or religion, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Well, yes, whichever you prefer. Religion. They will get different things. Fourteen. Fourteen? <laughs> Good number on the die. Oh, That's all yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah, you know? Makes sense. Everything here is above board. Uh, Fourteen. You've encountered this superstition before. Uh, different ships will have different warlocks. Never really a cleric. Um but usually solidly warlocks devoted to some kind of undersea patron. Mm -hmm. uh, the better, less savory crews will have them. Uh, crews that are solely under king and crown, they will most definitely have clerics aboard. Privateers and pirates yeah. will have warlocks. Sure. Yeah, one yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I'll just kind of not watch, watch him. <laughs> that. See, see what he's doing. Is anyone else watching I'm more? Very trim? much like. <clears throat> I'm just doing this, and I'm staring right at where he is. But I'm getting my... closer. Yeah. yeah, my gaze would probably follow where, oh, <laughs> wherever actually, Kyle right, was looking. Right, be right before all of this, too. Um, how, how's the ice doing? <laughs> so oh, right, that's a huge problem that we have. Starting to crawl up your ankles. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you're all fully encased in ice. Nice. Uh, you're all instantly oh, dead. Can be uh, <laughs> uh, It Not hasn't moved. Forever. It seems to, again, be inert. It's very cold. Yeah. yeah it's ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the crack that you created is still there. Okay. It hasn't okay. healed in any way. No other signs of life out above the ice. Nothing. Or changes in the lay of the land. Not that you notice. Am I back? You're back. Yells there? Yeah. I wanna... You would have heard the interaction with Mortran. I do want to go over and just ask Yale, with our patron dead, are we turning back? Or what is the plan? Well, we still have his cargo. And... <laughs> so much in there. What? <laughs> no, nothing. I didn't say anything. There's nothing in the crates. I, I didn't say that. I mean, there's rum goblins running around. Or we are transporting 
Empty crates. Let me wait. There's hay in the crates. <laughs> no, she's right. Yeah. They were empty, right. but unsealed. Right. <laughs> Un unsealed, rather. Sealed. Sealed continually, <laughs> but empty. <laughs> We did. I'm sorry. Even <laughs> Laura's <laughs> fertile teats. What? Maybe that we've been transporting some... empty crates? Well, it could be some sort we had to of take this ludicrous path through the old and hire fucking mages to warm the ship, which obviously didn't work, and we're transporting no cargo. Well, yes, we We got an empty ship. Gas is a vital. Shut up, Soge. Pray tell Lord Soge what vital gas have we got in the cargo <laughs> hold? I think he let um, out when he oxygen? croaked, so. Not funny! <laughs> Soge, take a break. Um, and then Phoebe's well, gonna say... A spare will soon be if we can't get this ship moving. I don't think you noticed, but we only have a limited amount of supplies. The ship is stalled and we're surrounded by ice. I don't know about you, but this murder on the ship isn't making me feel too comfortable either. Now, you're right. supposedly hired to protect this man, and obviously all failed, so if you wouldn't mind helping me figure out who killed the man and get off my back, then we can all get moving. Chopa's gonna, like, pull at her coattails and go, What? <laughs> uh, are we still gonna get paid? <laughs> Ma'am? I'm gonna go check on the wrong <laughs> goblin. <laughs> I'm gonna put a hand on Chopper's shoulder and go, Chopper, you will still be paid. Don't worry. Okay. Do they get your hand? I'm gonna briefly make eye contact with Phoebe and then just turn back to Yell and just say, So, with that, is there any reason to progress further or could we turn around? Whether we progress further or we turn around, we need to get the ship moving. Agreed. Do we need the mages for that? We'll see what this warlock can do and see if he's alright at his job and, uh, and maybe check on the manager. We don't need all of them. I'm gonna look around for, um... <laughs> Who's the other person? Uh, the bosun. Is the bosun around? Dolgan? Yeah. Yes. Can I motion for the bosun to come over? <laughs> Uh, Yale kind of watches you do that and like, Master, what are you, what are you doing? I don't think he particularly likes you. He's kind of voiced a few complaints. That's fine. He's not going to listen. And I don't, you're great and all. I'm not about to, you know, jeopardize my stand-in with the crew by admonishing my bosun to follow your orders in front of them. We're already in a precarious enough situation. Your bosun just already made the threat. And so, perhaps it's he what could he just does. Finish carrying it out. How do you think he goes about doing his job? Threats and fear. The mages just haven't listened so far, so it doesn't seem to be working. But if you believe this pace is acceptable, Captain, <laughs> we can continue. <laughs> I was heading downstairs. At this point. <laughs> Everybody's like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, Mr. Bellstrom. Uh, the first mate comes like hobbling over. We've just been sitting here. I mean, I mean, it's true. Yes. If you don't mind, uh, I shall have a word with the majors. If you wouldn't mind telling Dolquin to lighten up on our guests here, they have a murder to investigate. I would appreciate it uh, if y'all brought this murderer to me and we can take care of him in the fashion that is appropriate at the seas. I will deal with the mages myself. Fair enough. What if they're the murderers? <laughs> then I will deal with them myself. Well, then justice is the only payment that I will need. <laughs> so, so you know. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm going to follow this again. Uh, is like, Kylan still in the area? Yeah, yeah, like, legitimately, I was, I guess, still here. I'm kind of, like, a foot on the step to go downstairs, but this is all kind of interesting. <laughs> you see it is just, pay, like, fully listening in <laughs> on this conversation. Noticing that you you and Phoebe are still here, 
uh, she looks over at uh, Kylan, kind of does a nod. Mm. When you have the murder in hand, please do bring him to me. I eagerly await your results. Of course. And she's gonna wiggle her talons at you. Hand. Okay. <laughs> um, and she heads down ship. So Phoebe at this point, I think she wouldn't have told this to Kylan, but she is gonna kind of like um, clock that there's uh, something. Um, and so she's gonna kind of like as uh, like inconspicuously as she can, she's gonna try to slip out and go back around to where the window was, um, just to kind of like try to figure some things out. She's gonna you, try. Are you gonna hang out there? Or you just kind of do a flyby. I'm gonna do a flyby. <laughs> like, uh, like um, it's occurred to her that Kylan was asking good questions, um, and so she's just gonna go like, like get like another sensory like <laughs> take on what was going on back there. All right. But uh, she's going to try to do it when Kylan's not looking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Has Kylan like, gone below deck? Kylan was headed below deck. Mm, I was headed below deck. Yeah. And it was the conversation then done because I was mm -hmm. pretty enthralled in that. And for fairness sake, I'd be like, right. Um, yeah. We left an unattended rum gremlin. Uh, yeah, right, I think I'll go check on that. Anyways, I'm just feeling kind of like the outsider of this fucking group, so I'm gonna go downstairs by myself. <laughs> Where's Sergei? I think Sergei is gonna go up to the crow's nest for a little bit to see where everyone's to head. pout. <laughs> That's what you're saying, but when we show up, you have like your sun chair and like my tie. <laughs> Heels are up. Um, <laughs> He's got the rum gremlin with him, just like. Yeah. He's squeezing it out. <laughs> you owe us. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to go up, and I'm just going to watch where everyone's going, and then once the captain's quarters are empty again, I'm going to investigate the crime scene. All right, we'll come back to that. And I'm also taking out discreetly the map that I took and just be like... <laughs> Welcome back to you. What's Chopa doing? Uh, what is Chopa doing? Chopa is... Now without Aper and they're like, <laughs> they're like, oh, I don't know who I got to talk up to now. Uh, so Choba tucks the remaining live flowers in their shoe under their arm, and like physically shields them from the snow coming down, and just waddles behind you. And then we like stop with yeah. 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 a new a new like, special interest. <laughs> this is like Chubb yeah, is just like a chicken. Like, it's like oh, okay, the person the above leader. me in the backing yeah, order yeah. died. And like when she Who's stops, next? like he'll stop or they'll stop like four feet behind the, her. <laughs> and like when she goes again, <laughs> she'll stand. Chubb will start waddling again. I imagine that's accompanied with like mutters under your breath, like. They're divine beauty. We'll save us all. Phoebe. You do a flyby around the back. Mm -hmm. You circle once. You circle around back again. Go ahead and give me a charisma saving throw. But you get to pick two bad things. <laughs> so remember truth that. Or dare. Um, well, yeah, that's truth or dare. Truth or dare. I keep All right. <laughs> that's Which the pick, it's the pick three. It's the pick now. Yeah, I just, do you break your finger in real life? Kara stomps on your hand. Kara has a hammer. <laughs> She's ready. I will take one of your teeth. <laughs> so, one. Uh, you take five points of psychic damage. <laughs> Two, you are charmed. Mm. Or three, you think of that time <laughs> when you began to have more self awareness. Mm. And when you began to come to yourself, describe the room that you saw. Those three things. How many do I pick? Two. All right, I'll take the damage and the room description. All right. <laughs> um, 
so Phoebe kind of finds herself in like like a library, um, like the Beauty and the Beast library, you know, tall bookshelves, the ladders. But there's also all this uh, weird like like equipment around. She's not quite sure what she's looking at, um, but there's like bubbly like cauldrons and like, you, you know, like chemistry sets and that kind of thing. Um, and she herself realizes that she's in a cage, uncomfortably small. Uh, so she tries to flap her wings and there's nowhere to, to flap them. Um, is there a person in the room? Go ahead and give me a perception check. Mm, it's gonna be 24. In this memory, in this flashback, you see this library, this laboratory, and you see a figure behind a desk. This figure is large. It's heftily built. Enjoyed the finer things in life. He comes close to look at you now that you're awake. Make some adjustments to the cage. You can't see his face, it's too high above you. But you see the amulet that he's wearing. Mm -hmm. A thin band of silver in a circle with different leaves around the bottom edge. All right, don't worry. You come back to yourself and you see carved into the ship between two windows where on the inside, some decorative gilding is shown off. On the outside, a single rune. And you speak Sylvan, right? Mm -hmm. Can you read giant? Yeah. Yeah, I can. <laughs> you Whoa. recognize that this is the giant rune C, which is also a stand-in for the words communication. And that's what you find. So okay. to retain all of that. Oh, you get to retain all of that. That's, that's all you. All right. Cost of five, like <laughs> For the cost of five, no psychic surprising. damage you two can retain traumatic memories. <laughs> I'd rather push them out. Thanks. It's so okay. You're investigating the room. <clears throat> I will say by this time, Phoebe's little investigation has concluded. It would have taken you some time to get down. Or... You know, unless you got down your usual way. How many people are above deck paying attention? Many. Nah, I gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dex check. Yeah. Acrobatics, please. Natural 20, baby! <laughs> <laughs> so, Twy, you're, you're accustomed to this. Maelstrom, you're still above deck, right? Yeah, I was, I was, I followed Soga to like this point, and then Soga went up, and I was like, well, shit. Because I can fly 10 feet above the ground, but that's it. <laughs> so, without like. Soga usually jumps down from high places and usually <laughs> doesn't end well. You're used to it. You're used to like having to go back into town and get some bandages because, you know, this. Stupid party doesn't have a healer. I see so <laughs> and, I'm like, oh. and I start pulling out the med kit. You see him just dive down, and he initially goes into a swan dive and tumbles down, and he seems to be just like, like this, feet first, like a solid straight line, uh, which normally does not bode well. The last time he did this, shattered both legs. <laughs> uh, but he almost seems to float before he hits the ground as he like does a careful somersault, grabs some rigging as he falls and slides down and presents himself behind you. With that laugh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, so now everyone is paying attention to you. Well wow, done. Wow, one of this neighbors is fucking sick. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, oh. I'm gonna go into the, the I'm gonna follow Soga. All right. 
So the two of you are in the captain's quarters. Chopa, did you go with them, or are you still following around Yellow Bell Time? Uh, still following around you. All right, we'll come back to you. We'll I'm come back to you as well. I'm mostly just going to stand at the door, and I'm going to, before you go in, I'm going to turn around, I'm just going to say, I don't know who we can trust here. There are motivations for Yale and for the mages. So keep an open mind. Of course! Everyone has motivations. Even you. Even me. I'll guard the door. And I'll investigate the crime scene. I'll guard the door. I'll investigate the crime scene. Very good. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to have you roll a new check. Uh, this one will be history, please. History. Okay. 17? And do you get proficiency for history? I do not. Add your proficiency bonus. Okay. Okay. That makes it a dirty 20. Wonderful. So, okay, the first thing that you remember is the map that you grabbed. That one, of course, was a map of Alberon proper. Mm -hmm. The seas, the currents. The maps on the desk, they don't make sense. Their orientations, their directions, they're not what you're used to for Alberon. With a 20 history, you note that these are places that you haven't seen, that you've never heard of, and you've sailed every ocean there is. The maps don't line up. Or rather, they do. When you put the maps in certain configurations, they seem to make a little bit more sense. You note different currents, you note different regions that seem to appear. But none that seem to really speak to you. It just seems to be a strange way of keeping maps. But definitely of note. Given that, can I look for any clues as to what configuration our patron had had them in? Or was, like, what the destination would be given the configuration that it's presumably hasn't been changed? So if you left them unchanged, if you didn't pick any of them up? Besides the one that yep. I found on his person. Mm -hmm. Yes. You didn't pick any of them up? No, not yet. Right. The configuration they're in now makes the least sense. Mm. The only thing you notice is that the edges of the map kind of create a semicircle. Mm. Something that wouldn't be apparent if you had them separate certain lines of latitude, certain currents, certain ley lines have lined up. Even one, it seems to be a ship's inventory, even the wording and the lines have lined up correctly. Is it pointing out a destination or is it something that looks like it's incomplete? Because if it's a semicircle, does it seem like reconfiguring them would make a complete circle or something? That reconfiguring the maps on the desk and the papers on the desk don't see, doesn't seem like you'd be able to change anything there. You do have a map in your pocket. I'm going to take out the map in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you note the map in your pocket is all straight edges. It of course has the directions of the currents, but they wouldn't line up correctly. The illustration on the back of the map, however, a sea serpent curving around a ship's sail. When placed underneath some of the maps, finishes out the circle. Oh boy! <laughs> and uh, where on the map is the sea serpent relative to my last known position <laughs> in this sea? With a 20 history check. This is not the sea you're currently on. Mm. 
Ooh. This map doesn't make sense. Hmm. Just the shape. The shape which is still Alberon proper? The shape is a circle. You didn't just the whole thing is. Yes, the map the, the map on the in reverse side is Alberon proper. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to make detailed note of this configuration and then pick it all up and shuffle it around a bit. I like the idea of somebody going, I note you! And then <laughs> rolling it all up. Kylan! And I'm taking the map back. You're taking the single map back, okay. Kylan, you headed down to check on your. You're a. Prisoner. Prisoner, yeah. yeah. Not companion, not friendly yet. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just want to make sure, A, still there. Kylan, you head down to the cargo hold. Look over at the uh, Archmages and whatever's going on there. Or Archmage and whatever's going on. Just like a little... <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you see that kind of nod back to you. Uh, Mayfield is just like... <laughs> Finger guns and... <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And I just, you know, turn and I'm... Okay. So there's two purposes. One, is our prisoner still secure? Uh, has their condition changed? So I'll start with that. The cargo hold is also in quite a state. This seems oh, to yeah. have taken the brunt of it. This mm -hmm. is what held the ship back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, an interesting thing about the ice, you realize, where the mages are largely undamaged. Mm -hmm. Cargo hold is also undamaged. The ship is still saleable. Uh -huh. The ice hasn't broken through, but it did shake the cargo up quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, and you left your gremlin prisoner on top of a bunch of boxes. <laughs> so now he's underneath a bunch of boxes that mm -hmm. might have been heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no! How far has he spread? <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, uh, it's cold enough that it hasn't spread too far. Okay. Yeah. I kind of just gingerly lift the box up. <laughs> uh, a couple of the crates have uh, thoroughly pancaked. Oh dear. Your gremlin companion. Mm, okay, I'll just kind of. Uh, hmm, just wore a hammer head, just like. Chava is gonna like waddle down the stairs and go. What the fuck did you do? Oh, just cleaning up the mess. <laughs> you didn't kill him, did you? Is it, uh, it kills him. Yes, it does. Like Your hand was covered in blood. Chava's hands covered in blood. Chava doesn't even notice that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Got um, blood on my hands too. <laughs> Did you, did you brave us? How did you do that? I'm gonna tell the others that you tried to brave us for murdering Avern! Right, right. Any, sorry. Um, <laughs> any, <Guys! very> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just trying yeah, to clear yeah, the mess and see what's going on. Stop laughing. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> right. You're the murderer. You I know, I'm gonna tell everybody I know who it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mystery solved, bam bam! <laughs> is that all? I was gonna just yeah, make yeah. sure. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. It was really funny, I loved it. Um, so, I'm gonna just turn back around and go to the boxes and start. It's both cleaning up, taking stock, and then just like looking for any of the protected cargo. I mean, hell, I'll just take this opportunity to open all of them and smash them a little bit. Like, I'll make, ooh, oh no, sounds as I fake crush a box with another box you kind of thing. Me. Oh man, this one's broken already! Oh, <laughs> it's broken! <laughs> all that effort to mend them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I really, I put like a lot of work into that. Hey, look, I mean, the whole thing is a shit show, so. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. A lot of cancer. I'll be, I'll be honest, like, I'm not trying to do this while everyone's like staying there watching me, so if they're doing that, I'll just be carefully going around. Oh, no, I'm as a, soon yeah. as they're, no, yeah. I'm I don't yeah, think I know you're not, but I know you went yeah. down to talk to the mages, the mages over there, but like there was that divider spot between the rooms. So I like I kinda go around the corner and start I'll take sorry. I'll take a stock of the inventory and clean up a bit. It looks like no one else did that, so I'm helping out. You're just I'm the only one here. <laughs> no, the mages. Oh, aren't they further away? He's yeah, retconning. This still is what he said here. as he came around. Yeah, it's like in case. Uh, you you start you start case. opening crates, and every once in a while you smash one. Oh no, I'm so clumsy. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, accidentally like crack open a barrel of preserved lemons. That goes everywhere. Um, <laughs> Tova eats them. Everyone's gonna get some. I'm just like. noting. I'm just noting how many things will need repair. Scurvy for all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mails to later. Not scurvy. Uh, the lemons, I mean. All of these sealed items that ostensibly the guild that is Lunare has had brought on. Yeah. All empty crates. Okay. Nothing but hay. Just hay. And now, thoroughly opened. Yeah. Sure. That's fine. There's um, a lot of hay. I'll pile them all in like a nice orderly fashion as I also continue to check. Like there was the one that was damaged that the rum gremlins came out of and just see if there's any like leftover traces of, you know, did uh, did whoever loaded them on board leave a trace of anything, you know? So like this kind are of you talking about the one that the rum gremlin you watched come out? No, there was the one that had the telltale markings right before we fought them last time. Does that make sense? The one, he had noticed that there was one that yeah. was like a little broken into. <laughs> yeah, and it may have been by them, but you know, I'm just I'm just trying to cover all the bases here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me an investigation check. Okie doke. <laughs> if everything's good, that's just great. That's a three. I bet everything's just fine. <laughs> Is Chapa doing anything to help? No. Oh. <laughs> Chapa, in fact, is going, I know who the killer is! I know who did it! <laughs> just like uh, yelling, but also not moving. They're just watching. <laughs> as you as you finish like stacking the crates, nothing new to be gleaned here. Uh, Yale comes kind of like stomping through. I'm sorry, did you say you know Chuba, who the murder is? Chuba, Chuba, Chuba knows who did it. <laughs> like pulling at Yale, like reaching up. Oh, okay. Oops, I'm sorry. Are you a child? <laughs> no, I'm, Are... just, I'm a halfling. Okay, well, it'd be nice if you kept your arms down. That's, you know, personal space and all that. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're rubbing blood all over you. Yeah, like, I know who hurt someone who's rubbing blood. I know who hurt to kill it. It's. That guy! <laughs> it's Kylie! And she points at Kylie. Kylie. <laughs> Kylie, for, I mean, Sorry. It's, it's only appropriate that you would just choose that name. It's fine. The whole time. Look at the blood on the hammer. <laughs> they got it. Blood on my own hands. This is where I, you have I to I put my hammer down character. and I'm kind of taking a cross legged stance. I'm just like. I know who did it. Really? Yeah. That's the where first you're going to kill Hall without a roll. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like look at her and I'm like, mm, look down at Cho. <laughs> the evidence is there. Well, I'm not like posing. I'm like continuing to go about cleaning up after that's over. <laughs> I might advise both of you to wash the blood off of your weapons and oh, yeah. arms. It was from that little. I just point the smear on the ground. <laughs> oh, so we did murder somebody. Yeah, the wrong one. They were stealing all. Oh, this stuff. and Avery. <laughs> That's not enough blood there. <laughs> There's more blood on you than there is on him. Uh, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I can vouch. So, well, you know, so I'll I, I, all the time. It's fine. I don't know who I would offend more by saying this, but, you know, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's nothing to be gleaned down here. Chopo wipes the blood onto their pants. Hmm. Uh, Turn up. Is, yeah. is, is Yell like still down here to talk to the majors or has she done that already? She's about to. Okay, cool. I'm going to continue to clean, but now switch my attention to eavesdropping. All right, well, uh, better have a discussion. Excuse me, L Lord Noble. Yes. She's <laughs> Yeah, I'm really not about to enjoy this. I do so not sorry. enjoy role-playing so with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I found a lot of ways to minimize it over yeah. the years. Yeah. Yeah. I've run into like it now. It. Yeah, it's tough. You can pan <laughs> to, to my ear against and give the gist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, that's more fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Captain. <laughs> So, yeah, as, as you can see, you know, we've stopped. And also, good news, the man paying you, he's dead. Uh, which I don't know if you're aware would make me the only thing standing between the crew and the five of you. 
Well, let's say four. I'm sorry, young child, but you, you're just not scary. <laughs> now, Lord Noble, I, I think you're aware of how the deal works. You're supposed to be here helping the ship move along. My crew is supposed to hate you because you're insulting our very venerable skills. Uh, I was told you did have some method of heating the hull. We do. And why hasn't that begun? It has. Oh, well, uh, it, it seems if if we're heating the hull, then maybe the ice should be thawing. It should be. Uh, you hear metal scraping on metal. Well then. If the hull is heated and we're still not moving, what's the point of you? And then you hear a slight whoosh and light appears from around the corner. Oh, I'm running in. I'm running in at that point. <laughs> you run in and you see the archmage with a fireball prepped in his hand, yell blades drawn, and they both look ready to duke it out. All right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Good joke, heat in the hole, but that will kill us all. It's really not a good idea. Yo, please. <laughs> I got nothing. We, you got a sword. It's pretty straightforward. Um, let's see. What would it take to get this ship moving if you say it should be, but is it? What's stopping it from being heated up from your practices, maybe? We are heating the ship. Mm -hmm. There is. It's proprietary. We have perfected the skill. Uh, yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah, it's yeah, secret. Yeah, yeah. No, it's if fine, we were to great, tell yeah. everyone, everyone would want the technology. Well, look, the benefit of that is that if it doesn't work and you die, no one's going to know because we're all <laughs> dead, so can't tell tales, etc., etc. Um, It's more of like a... Look... I'm an honest guy, I won't say anything. If you need me to help in some way and you need to reveal some life. secrets, yeah, it's whatever. Um. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a persuasion check. Right. I don't want and to I, do I, I kind of want to say with disadvantage with Topa, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hands. Hey, 17. Bloody pants. <laughs> Bloody hands, not pants. Oh, well, I guess I wiped everywhere. <laughs> way better. Yeah, it's true. All I are just leaves. <laughs> He lets he releases his concentration on the fireball he'd been preparing. Oh, wasted third level spells. <laughs> oh, <laughs> poke your head so down. No. <laughs> God, everyone fights against me in these situations. <laughs> what about there? Yeah. The Mage's Guild is aware that fire on ships is a sticky subject, but also that merchants are always looking for pathways through colder waters that might provide a quicker route. Hmm. When Afern offered to fund my research in exchange for me bringing any knowledge I had to him, I said yes. And that speeded along my promotion. Hmm. Oh, well, that's great. It's great. There's material. I'm not going to say what kind because sure, I don't want you stealing it. Yeah, yeah. Certainly don't want Thanks. you points at Yale stealing it and I'm not worried about you. <laughs> you don't need to be. I'm fully trustworthy. But what if the fuel is enchanted flowers from the Feywild? <gasps> well, don't. No yeah, reaction. You're not there. <laughs> Fair enough. In our tests, when we gently applied heat to the substance, it was enough to provide enough of a warming temperature to break through ice and melt flows. Mm -hmm. But this ice has suddenly appeared and it's thick. We can't break through it with our wind gusts. It's, right. it's nothing's working. Right, right. In your learned experience, uh, what might cause this kind of ice? I mean, is it magical at, at all? Is it just so Of course it's magical. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well then who did the magic? Right, well, that's, yeah, exactly. That I would very much like to know. 
<laughs> this type of spell, it's... I've not seen it. It's some impressive stuff. Perhaps agree. Yeah, was yeah. Mouse, or was it? I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> well, all right, okay. If that's all, we really should be getting back to research. We have to find a solution, and I would appreciate it well, if look, you here. didn't share this with your horned friend. Uh, no worries. No, no problem. No worries. Trustworthy. Um, Trustworthy I'm... Jumba, that's what they call me. Right. Jumba yeah. tight lips. <laughs> <laughs> the zippers are mouth shut. There it is. There it is. Oh. Literally. Oh. Wow. Very good. Uh, all right. Like, well, look, I don't know if this helps at all. Here's a sample. Then just take the ice that I had in my mug. <laughs> Because I don't know. Just a stein of ice. Just remember that. Well, yeah, experiments and research. I don't know. You have to climb up stairs and mess around, get cold, come back down, whatever. I don't know. Is, is it a good idea? You see one it, of Would it help? If not, it's fine. I got a drink to go get. You see what, one of the, the mages in the back, a, a, a small gnome, kind of <laughs> does a little titter. <laughs> Right, okay, so you made an ass of myself. I think I'll just leave now and leave you guys to it. And I'm just gonna turn around and walk away. She, she kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> is there any like. Uh, any sort of alcoholic beverage in the back I can just like quickly fill up? <laughs> Sadly. All of it? There's one keg left. Oh. Don't tell the rest of them about this one. <laughs> This one is just ours. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to just like look around for another mug and then split the ice and then just kind of tap a little bit. Clink. Clink. <laughs> so not murdering <laughs> anyone. <laughs> well, you murdered Nathan. Well, 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 well. Cheers. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> we're going to take our 10 minute break to not murdering anyone. <laughs> we'll see you at 8.52. It was Sunburn Man over here. Hi. Sunburn <laughs>
Welcome back, everyone, to Adventures in Alberon, Sea of Ice. When last we left off, uh, our crew had dis discovered that the ship was stuck in ice, and there was a murder aboard. Uh, with varying levels of success at ingratiating themselves to the crew, we've arrived once more to the decks, where Soga and Maelstrom have just finished guarding and investigating the captain's quarters. Phoebe, what are you doing at this time? Um, I think she's gonna head back to the crow's nest and just kind of like, um, think about what she knows and um, she's gonna take out the dagger that she got in our little pregame <laughs> excursion and just inspect it closely. Phoebe, at port, you had become a little, you got a little separated from your party. When a bulky silver dragonborn grabbed you by the shoulder and attempted to drag you into the alley, you resisted and pointed a glowing psychic dagger at his throat. That was when you met Kylan, who arrived on the scene and attempted to aid you, finding you already aided yourself, but provided a welcome distraction and alerted the crowd. The dragonborn apologized, saying he mistook you for his cabin boy and wandered off, but not before being pickpocketed by Maelstrom. He retrieved a dagger, which you now hold floating above you with your mind. You look at the markings, the blade a highly polished steel, the hilt well-worn, and the guard, a chunk of pure obsidian with a single rune carved into it, the giant N, also a stand-in for night. This symbol you saw at the time, and for those watching mechanically, Phoebe failed a charisma saving throw. <laughs> that brings you to two runes that you've seen in the past three weeks, Phoebe. More than you've seen in a very long time. With no giants about. And certainly this dagger is small enough to not have belonged to a giant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> from your vantage point in the crow's nest you also notice that there's a little bit of a commotion from below decks as Mortram turns around I have beseeched the queen of the seas I have spoken with her we will be moving soon what did you say to her? How soon? In her terrible swampy wisdom, she said soon. Does this, yeah, does this guy seem like he's kind of... Does he seem like he's... Pull, is this a con artist who's just in too deep now? Inside. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, 19. No idea what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> quick, quick buck. Uh, you know, honestly, I do, I, you hear him. I would say Soge hears him. He's cl probably closest by now. As he's making his way to the crow's nest, most likely. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, it's, it's probably going to be a little bit sooner. Uh, I've just got a couple extra spell slots. I just have to take it now. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's just a good show. Hey, Captain! Captain! You shout from above decks. Captain for you. <laughs> and you hear thudding from below. Why are you calling her here? You can sleep. Take a nap. Okay. Just go fast. It's gonna be a while, man. Just nap 
as fast as you can. <laughs> it's like a solid eight hour nap. Yeah, you just go start now. <laughs> Okay. Kind of a warlock needs to leave in that part. <laughs> <laughs> eight hours. <laughs> eight hours is a long time with distracting. Go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and Mortrim heads downstairs, passes Yale, gives her a nod. Captain? We're still not moving. Uh, Captain, away! <laughs> I shout at the top of the stairs. I have some information about the um, ongoing investigation upstairs. Okay. I'll I'll be back for you. We're going to talk about this whole Umberly situation. This could take a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh. <laughs> Mortar. And she heads upstairs. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Information. Yes, um. It seems that the cat, uh, the patron, excuse me, the patron was murdered by asphyxiation, strangled. Afterwards, they uh, fell backwards, bumping their head, which caused a contusion upon the back and most of the bleeding. Right, <laughs> except um... for the bleeding that wasn't from that body. There's more blood. Uh, the egg thing was picking up glass. I have a name. We've been oh, working Jesus. together for a while. Which is just almost right now. Drinking a bit of pound feet behind you all this whole time. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. yeah. What a book, so yeah, we're on the same team. <laughs> well, you, why were you picking up glass? I was picking up the flowers, you dipshit. <laughs> the divine plants of this earth. Do you not see their beauty? Wow. So good. <laughs> Doesn't know it's good. <laughs> yeah, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> what were you guys even talking about? <laughs> Collect yourself. <laughs> I'm going to try and rectify some of this ice situation uh when you have more of a, a who and less of a how oh i know who did it if you say <laughs> kylan <Probably> again oh. <laughs> i will investigate further and get back to you um but perhaps uh you should check in with the mages again <laughs> The next time I have to. We need time, like eight hours. (laughs) (laughs) Next time I have to check in the mages, it will not be for eight hours, and I can certainly tell you it's not going to be anytime soon. (laughs) You're so excited to kill wizards. (laughs) (laughs) Take a load off for about eight hours, and uh, you know. You take a load off for about eight hours. (laughs) Justice never sleeps. Does anyone not restrain him from time to, like just a little bit of light rope? <laughs> Medicals. <laughs> uh, I must return to the investigation. Phoebe's eager for a distraction, so she's gonna come down and help Soge and just kind of like shepherd him away from the captain and be like, I'm going directly sorry, back into the captain's quarters and shutting the doors and just like, <laughs> he's on his own. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, if there isn't anything else, I'm gonna go have a chat with the first mate. Okay. I'm, I'm going. <laughs> you, you can you can stay. It's fine. Yes. Like, stay with you, your group. Oh no, I'm gonna stay with you. No. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> I'm gonna stay with you. I'd prefer you didn't. In fact, I, I order you to stay with uh, this one here. But he's a murderer. <laughs> Stay with him. Just watch him. No, keep oh, an yeah. eye on him. I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nova does like the eye with <laughs> exactly you. Yeah. Yeah. Just, oh, just keep an eye on him. Make sure there's no too. more murdering. You got to get Yeah. Him. Right. Yeah. Good. 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 Got my eye on you. Yeah. That's. <laughs> Are we like kind of drunk now? <laughs> <Just realizing. laughs> uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll constitution saves, both of you. The drink, and I forgot about that. Ah, uh, no, you can't. No. Uh, too, too I, well, that's a twenty-one. 
<laughs> no, you're fine. Mine yeah. is uh, it was probably not going to be pretty good. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> While this is happening, <laughs> is there anything that seems kind of suspicious? Is there anybody getting anything no. ready? Any kind oh, of no. ritualism oh, sort of no. stuff happening? Where are you checking? And who are you checking? How are you checking? Uh, Where? Why? Well, <laughs> <laughs> tell me all the details. Sure. If it is up to Maelstrom, he's probably going to take an opportunity to go check in with the wizards because they're the magic users. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Just them. Particularly yeah. killable. <laughs> That's not really what I want to do. So you're headed downstairs, all the way downstairs? Yeah. All right. Uh, as you're headed downstairs, uh, are you going. Fireballs and handballs blazing, or are you going? Uh... You're going in balls blazing. I'm going in <laughs> with my balls cool for the moment, but I, I think uh, what I want to do is I want to walk down, not confrontationally. I just kind of want to like watch what they're doing. So you're not inevitably. sneaking up on them. No, 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 okay. no, certainly not. No reason to sneak up on these nerds. <laughs> if they could do anything, they probably would have done it. We wouldn't you see, be there's here. there's a, a lot of like <clears throat> glaring looks at you. Uh, including from your fellow tiefling uh she kind of like closes her book at your approach and glares at you a bit what's the title of the book yeah, me. So so me. You know. <laughs> I'm take both of you. <laughs> I used to write the title for every book. Oh, I had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Books and the title of the book is uh, In Infernal, and you can read Infernal. Yes, yes. I can. Uh, the title of the book is uh, Communication Across the Astral Plane. Cool, 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 cool. Mm. Just know that. Cool, cool, cool. But Can looking around. This right now? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. But looking around, do we see, is there any, like, signs of, I'm really looking for what rituals are happening here. Because these are a bunch of nerds. They can't actually do magic. They have to pull it from other places mm -hmm. using, like, little devices. This is, this is diet science. <laughs> so I'm looking around. I'm looking at all of their crystals and everything, and I'm, I'm looking to see if um, they're, tr like, what are they trying to do, actually? As much as I would love to make you just do a flat intelligence check, uh, because you've insulted science. Uh, I'm going to have you do Arcana. <laughs> I'm an actual scientist, though. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> the disrespect over here. Maelstrom's uh, disrespected life. Wow. 16, flat 16. All right, flat 16. Uh, I will say, with your innate, inert, innate, natural... I keep wanting to say inane, and that's incorrect. <laughs> Your ability to actually do magic. Your innate ability to do magic with which you were born and not learned. You did not work hard at it. You did not need to procure any outside sources, make any deals with any divine or unholy beings. You just had it. I was supposed to. The tools of the trade are a little bit unusual to you. You do recognize something. You recognize the spell books, of which there are many. Uh, the chest seem to be, which one of which is open, seems to have a few additional scrolls, uh, a few bits and pieces of components for spell work. Um, there is indeed a, a ritual circle that you note has been like, it's kind of like an individual one that they can take turns at. Yeah. Uh, it's the worst thing. <laughs> it's, it's the, worst it's the drop in spell circle. Yeah. <laughs> um, this one, of course, being uh, keyed for evocation magic. Mm -hmm. um, and the components, pretty standard. Nothing out of the ordinary. There's incense, there's some chalk. Uh, you do note with your 16 uh, that Ilstra, the tiefling, uh, while everyone else's chests are open, hers is closed and is magically locked. Okay. Chest, you said? Like they all have one by their like little it's bed like little or something? Foot lockers. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. They're stacked um, because they're foot beds. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna, uh, and how much space, like, like if I were to talk to them, everybody else can hear because it's pretty tight quarters mm -hmm. here. Okay. I'm going to say in Infernal, <laughs> while the privacy. 
Certainly not polite to be private in front of others. But if you must know, <laughs> I'm not about music. I pulled Chip away from the top of the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to watch. Honestly, you've met my boss. He's fine, but he doesn't deserve his position. He didn't work for it. He bought it. I'm working on some things in my spare time that will supersede his plans and his tests. And I would prefer if no one else caught wind of it, because otherwise, when his fails, mine succeeds. And I'm sure you're used to some things like that, aren't you? I want to um, get a sense for, is this person trying to throw me off? Or are they inviting me into their plan to get rid of their boss and kind of <laughs> just looking for ways to kill people. <laughs> <Just, laughs> okay. well, oh, over boss. here. Oh, what is this person? Oh, man. That's going to be a solid <laughs> nine. Being very there, she <laughs> definitely wants you in on her plans no, to murder her boss. Okay. Um, <laughs> you recognize that tiefling glint in her eye. <laughs> It's racist. It's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a cutthroat oh, yeah. world for you guys. There's lots of like barriers in the way of like ascending to positions of power. You had to fight for everything you had. You know. Uh, I'll say the squabblings of academics are not terribly interesting to me, but moving faster is. If your boss was replaced by you, do you think you could get us moving? Honestly, just give me 24 hours. I'll have us moving. <laughs> Three times more yeah. Looking at her, um, is there any kind of like iconography around her? Is she different in any way aside from being a tiefling than the rest of this group? Uh, this group is made up of a lot of different races. Uh, so, racist. <laughs> um, iconography. No, uh, pretty much the only thing that marks her as different from the Archmage is uh, a few extra um, layers on the like detailing on the shoulders. Okay. Um, and then her caution with her chest. Okay. Lock, uh, foot locker. Fair enough. I'll kind of nod at that, and I will just say, well, I hope your experiments are successful. And I'll turn around, and what what is the Archmage doing at this moment? Uh, you see he's entered the, the ritual circle. <clears throat> uh, he's kind of chanting a few words. Uh, he's got a couple of pieces of chalk on which he's drawing on certain sp parts of the ship. Um, seems to be in the middle of spell casting of some sort. Okay. Pants it's <laughs> oh, wearing a robe. No. <laughs> yeah, wait, he's wearing a robe that would hurt a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Dislocate both shoulders. Yeah, it's no longer all, the arch wizard. Those are barbarian stats right there. Um, no, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn around. I'll, I'll head back and look and see if Sogo's had any more success. Um, I want to clue the rest of the group in that there's some kind of. Uh, power struggle within the, the circle here to use later <laughs> to throw them against each other. Cool. Are right, you headed back up to upper deck? Yeah. Okay. So you you don't want to be the one to kill them? You want them to kill each other? I don't like getting my hands dirty. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. <laughs> uh, so I pictured myself having gone back into the captain's quarters I've like shut the door behind me and I'm just kind of up against the, the door like what the fuck <laughs> like take off the mask like what the fuck oh, I just want to get out of here like I'm looking how can I find who fucking killed this person so we can figure out how to get this fucking ice gone so I can get the fuck off this ship and go away 
Phoebe wanted to go into each other's quarters as well. <laughs> Did she slam. make it in? Or... Yeah. <laughs> uh, dexterity check from Phoebe to see if she made it in. I think I'm just like up against the door, so not. I I don't think I would have walked in. Uh, <laughs> dirty <gonna>. twenty. <laughs> uh, go for a dexterity check. Just we'll do a cont- contested check. Oh. See what see what. I like I like roll like Dan. I like PvP. Ah. Just like drop it. Okay, that's uh not a save, right? No. Okay. Um, that's better. That's uh thirteen. Okay. I got a dirty 20. Uh, yeah, no, no, should sure. you say all this? You take your mask off. <laughs> you just crush Hannah in the door. Oh, it's like, oh, oh. You take your mask off. You're oh. finally alone. Oh. And you look down, and Phoebe's just there. Oh. Oh. Um, you put it under the nose. <laughs> That's that's fine. Um, and then she's gonna totally ignore him, oh. and she's gonna start looking around the room for anything that might remind her of this amulet that she remembers seeing or the rune. Um, she basically is trying to figure out whether the patron is involved at all with with some of these goings on that she's remembering. Yeah, uh, that amulet. That symbol's everywhere. It's on the crates. It's on the door knocker. It's on documents, correspondences yeah. between the guilds. It's giant. And no, the there's two links. The, the, the amulet there. symbol is that thin circle. Oh, with the inlay or underlay. It's like curled around the bottom. Yeah. That was the trading company, right? Asked you if I had seen it anywhere, and you said no. I thought you were referring to the amulet that the other guy. Had. Oh, oh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. There were two um, amulets. <laughs> um, all right, clocking that. Do I? Uh, I'm also. I'm looking for like runes, more runes. Uh, you can go ahead and give me an investigation check. Also, tell me where you're checking. And what are you up to over there, uh, friend? You're just I, watching Phoebe rifle through things. No, I've re- regained my composure <laughs> and been like, oh yes. Um, we should investigate. <laughs> and I'm going to start looking for clues. At, like, I know the how, I think. I'm trying to see, like, you know, this is where the body was like, is this is it? Where, <laughs> I think I know how this happened. Fell. Like, <laughs> what is the trajectory by which the patron fell and the position of where the person who was strangling them was? Are there any clues from that pathway like a knocked over thing on the desk, or something or like out of place, footprints even. Investigation for you. And I'm Twelve. Like, I have and I'm, I'm looking. Sure. I'm looking for it. So when I saw the rune outside, it was just kind of like etched on the side of the ship, right? So I'm checking walls. I'm checking like corners, and I'm also looked since I saw it on the hilt of the dagger. I'm checking anything that looks kind of like ornamental. Um, to see whether there are runes there. Phoebe with a 12. That scroll case, that ornamental scroll case, you take a close look at it. It's about this size. And around the scroll case, not triggering anything for you, bands of runic letters. They're positioned in ways that don't make sense. They're just kind of lined up there. But it doesn't pop open like a normal scroll case would. It seems to be locked. Like magically locked? (laughs) Or like lock picking locked? (laughs) Like you're holding a tube with letters on it. It's a combination lock. Yeah, it's absolutely. And we have some. Uh, with what was your roll? <laughs> um, well, but was this the thing that was on the desk that I had seen? The the ornamental scroll case? Yes. yes. <laughs> and it was 12 with advantage? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, friends. Yeah, it was a four and a five. Clearly, <laughs> he was asphy- asphyxiated and fell over and had got the gash from falling on the desk. Uh, and whoever it was ran away. Mm. Not entirely sure how they got past the locked door. Uh, you take a look at the windows. Unopened. Unable to be opened. Hmm. Um, the 
a wizard that I had seen downstairs that had the strange components. Mm -hmm. Was that the tiefling? Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. That's all I really know. Am I back at this point? The door's closed. Yeah. So you're yeah. Um, I'm sure you're back. I okay. Think I would just be kind of thinking like, hmm, that's kind of weird, but like, also, who else could have done it? And also, what's uh, what's what's Phoebe up to? I'm gonna try the door. Is it locked? Did you lock the door? No, I didn't lock oh, okay. it. Okay. Yeah. It was open after because. Um, Phoebe just like slipped in as you closed it. I slipped it. in and you closed it. <clears throat> that was what the dex tracks were. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. yeah, no, I didn't lock okay. it. I just shut it. So yeah, I'll just peek in. I was probably going to lock it until I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll peek in and seeing them, I'll just try to slide in. Look behind me, uh, Kylan and Chapa coming as well? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll kind of like hold the another thing. I'll hold the door open for them to yeah. like slide in and shut it yeah, behind, and I'll lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn around yeah, and I'm just going to say. Oh, for thing. the record, I got a 12 on my Constitution saving throw for being drunk. <laughs> <laughs> drunk. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very much like you know toddler <laughs> hand holding like. Oh, come on. I'm gonna look oh, to Phoebe. Go. Go. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say just go like this. Can you establish a psychic connection? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you're like wordlessly. Yeah, yeah just I'm like, gesturing like that. Uh, and then mentally, if you can make that connection, <laughs> I just want to say to you, first of all, Kylan is not a murderer. <laughs> Secondly. Wait, who thought Kylan was a, never mind. <laughs> Secondly. Yeah, who did it? There is something going on with the tiefling downstairs. I'm not sure what. And then out loud, I'm going to repeat the thing about the tiefling to everybody else. Sure. Um, and then she's going to say back to him, um, Afern was up to no good. Uh, trust me. And then I'm just going to... Phoebe, I trust you, but could you elaborate? I know you guys are talking in your minds. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, say, I'm saying this, this part I say out loud. Okay, yeah. <laughs> some other time. Um, and then she's gonna she's gonna toss him the scroll case and be like, "Can you figure that out?" I'll take a look at it. Can I can I read the runes? Do you read giant? Uh, I, can read them. I don't think so. Oh, I, s <laughs> I probably quick toss it back over here. <laughs> Catch! Could I could I read the runes that were on there? It didn't yeah. occur to me. It, it's what, what they it's say. just well, they're, they're just random letters, letters. and okay. com different combinations that you can kind of shift mm. around. Mm. Does this have anything to do with the map configuration that I saw? Is the map configuration there? <laughs> I can read okay. giant. I have memorized. Yes, I remember. <laughs> Noted. Um, I can read giant. Yes. Do Does it seem like something? I'm gonna... Are you finished with that? I'm gonna take it, and I'm just gonna like play around with the letters for a little bit, and I just want to really quick just mash them a little to see if I can just like force it. Op happen to be able to open it, and so I can make it look I real cool before, before I hand it to the side. It's fair. It's fair. Yeah. I'm doing the thing where I just smudge my my thumb across the lock and then just try it. And just you accidentally yeah. spell things where the the runes look like English letters for A S S. Yeah. Yeah. You just you just turn it down. It's yeah. just I'll hand it over to Soka. <laughs> With a book mouse <laughs> Does this have anything with regard to the circle? This was on the table, right? Mm -hmm. Probably a piece to this puzzle. How it's three different little spinnies of letters? Five. Mm. So it's five it's a big boobs. five letter word. <laughs> Could it be like the, the orientation of the map or something of that kind? Like, is there any writing on the map? There wasn't any writing. Right? Was there was no writing. It was just a circle. The image of the sea serpent. Yes. Snows. Snow. Mm. Five letter words. I don't know. I'm gonna ponder on this, but I'm just, I'm just standing there with this thing in my hand, like. Chopper, chopper, 
<laughs> um, do does any of my expertise with actual physical locks is is any of that gonna help me? Like, can I look at it through that lens? If Phoebe wants to sit there and try the combinations to see if she hears anything, yeah, like listen. I will for the say this is a very high DC. That's fine. I'm gonna so try it. She's gonna just take it out. <laughs> so is it like not ask for it? Just take it. Um, and <clears throat> have we met? <laughs> um, and so. So okay. part of thaumaturgy is that you can make your voice louder. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, instead, actually, not thaumaturgy. Then, instead, of using prestidigitation, seeing what Phoebe is doing, can I go over and kind of like put my hands almost like a circle around Phoebe's ear, and then cast prestidigitation to amplify the sound as like a way of helping? <laughs> sure. Why don't you roll with advantage? All right. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Um. Mm hmm. All right. That's gonna be twenty-seven. One clicks into place. Are you all done in there? <laughs> yeah. Wow. No. Wait, I'm, gonna turn shit. I'm gonna make note of the one that is clicked into place. The one that is clicked into place is the giant rune N. North. Uh -huh. Is north. There's also a C? Yeah. Oh, wait, there's an S, I thought. Oh, let's see. There's a, a oh. C on the ship and a, an N on the dagger, I think, is what I saw, right? Oh. Torch. Macho. <laughs> Macho. Not Shit, choice. we figured it out. <laughs> we need not just to break the ice. Um. Go. <laughs> well, where's the awkward? <laughs> Macho. Uh. Phoebe's gonna, like, go over to the door yeah, just and open it and say, no, and close it again. <laughs> you, see, you open the door, you see Yale's face kind of, like, looking and trying to see what's going she on. She said, are you done? So, <laughs> no. In that quick moment, I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do a little thumbs up for the door. That's a good group photo right there. Yeah. All of us in the middle of fucking around with something. Get on that artist. It was like sniffing their coat with the flowers in it. I was just standing in the back of the thing. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. Right. Um. I had a thought. I haven't. The door wasn't ever opened, as far as we know, right? Right. So I didn't you know, see anything. Right, and so the they're only invisible. Way, the only way in or out. Well, no, Magic. the door would still right. Well, they're in the room with us. Yeah. <laughs> well, they haven't left. Maybe, probably not. But um, maybe, maybe someone get on that. Got a Ouija board. But, <laughs> <laughs> but gonna... look, who who else? Okay, so we have the, the mages, right? And we have some magic users among us, but I don't think any of us did it. Who can probably hop through doors? and has been on board about the time. How long was he dead when you found him? How long did it seem like, was the body cold? Was it still warm? Time of death, anything like that. It was him? still warm, the blood was still pooling. Yeah, it was the time of death. So the body was still warm, the blood was still pooling. So in relation to, <laughs> Recent. In relation to like the halting of the ship, I guess. How, how long prior to that? It's very difficult to tell okay. since none of you are right. trained in that sure. specific area. Yeah, you all can do medicine I mean, checks. I, I would say Sogay. I'm thinking of it. I'll, I'll Sogay and Kylan can do medicine checks because Sogay touched the body. Yeah. Yeah. Chopa, <laughs> you can also do a medicine check. Um, well, no, I don't do that. Natural point. Yeah, fucking Dr. Nice. God damn it. God damn you and your dice. I'm so sorry. I rolled a natural one. <laughs> so do with that what you will against a natural 20. <laughs> uh, Kylan, you look down at the body. Is he truly dead? I can't get Yeah, so. He's sleeping. He's got to be. Oh, yeah. I'm He's sleeping. You, you've seen bad. asphyxiated people. They don't turn blue. He's got makeup on. <laughs> so gay. He had been dead no more than an hour. Right, right, right. 
And I will say with your natural 20 medicine check, although it's not medicine related, I will give you extra information. Yay. When you open the door, why is there wind in a room with no windows? <laughs> Hi. <gasps> Milk. So get put their goggles up. <laughs> Look for the source of the wind. Were you crying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish we could end there, but no, we have more. <laughs> do you do you say that, or is that just like internal? Oh yeah. I guess I'll have to wait to know. No, the, say the that, wind. Because I have some thoughts. No, I haven't said anything. Oh, no. <laughs> so he just gasps, and none of you know why. <laughs> but I'm thinking, okay, the people that I know who can control wind, and then. The wizards who have been controlling the wind. Mm -hmm. Are there others that I would think? No one else seems to have done anything. So it makes me think I have widened my suspect list, but I have also focused more on the tiefling who fits both criteria. Right. So I think what I was going to say before we went all quiet and thinky. Um, <laughs> Was that it's two people who we haven't really put the lens to is that Mayfield guy. He was up here pretty pretty close around that time. I don't but, like him. The well, right, guy? You know, I, know, I, I, like, I like him. I like him because he's a really, you know, he seems really nice. But, 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 it's you pretty unassuming. <laughs> it's pretty unassuming, though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know me. I, I know you. <laughs> you thought I was the murderer. Anyway, so... <laughs> So basically, two people, him putting him at the top because, you know, he would suspect someone who was, oh, I'm so tired, why was he tired? He was using spells, why was he using spells? What were they on? They're doing the fire thing in, in, in the hull, not on, on the deck. He comes down as we're going up, right before the boom, boom thing, right? This is track so far. Yeah. Okay, second thing is um, other tired warlock said, oh, I need time to recharge my spell. What was he doing right before? I don't know. I hadn't seen him the whole time. I think that was the first time that we had seen him. You had so seen I'm just, him I'm around just... the ship before, thinking right. back on it. Right. Uh, Mol Mortrim kind of moped about a bit. Uh, every now and then you would see him uh, placing what seemed to be an attempt at wards, uh, but not being a particularly proficient magic user yourself. Yeah, well, you know... You just, I'm sure it's some kind of warning. It's, it's, yeah, right, but <clears throat> all I have to say, life experience, personal, it's fine, don't worry about it, but uh, when you're not being, you know, mm, yeah, it's, it's a, and you're moping about, you can kind of get into some trouble, even if it's not your intention. So... So you think this ice is a mistake? That what is a mistake? That this crash was a mistake? The crash... I don't the know. I don't. Mental. I don't know if the crash had anything to do with the murder, personally. No, I don't. Um, it seems like just where we are is dangerous in and of itself. And then they took advantage of that and murdered him. That's my guess. But the two people I'm putting at the top of my list right now are those two, just because you never assume it, and so we can probably easily find the answer. And if they're really that weak of character, just push right through to it. That's it. That's all I have to say about that. All right, new guy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I finally got your approval, Jesus. Barely. Barely. <laughs> he has a name. It's Kylie. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> mm. I'll take it. It's fine. <laughs> it is Kylie. It's fine. Yeah. But, you know, your claims are endearing and you just roll with them. I've had a few, so. Are we sure? No, sorry. Uh, you said he was asphyxiated. Are you sure that means that somebody choked him, or could he have choked on something? Or had the breath or taken something? away could from him? Or sure? Yeah, could be, uh, it's a bit Is this a uh, Legend of Korra Earth situation? Oh no, that is not what I was implying. But yes. <laughs> Are you implying that the breath was Give taken from his lungs? Yes. Given my uh, your, knowledge of the asphyxiation and the... Your natural 20 medicine check. And 90s cartoons. Yeah. And yeah, knowing, making that deep cut. 90s cartoons. Oh, 90s. 90s. What? Okay. Avatar? 
Was it, two, was it okay? After Maybe. 2015. You just say four okay. years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good at timelines. How old are we all? God, I'm Bebop. You. And, uh, early 90s. Late? Press on the lungs. Or where you know lungs to be. Oh. 2002. Wait, what? <laughs> and you attempt to see if, you know, they're level. The diaphragm is fully engaged and the chest is compressed. And you see a look on his face of panic. You can guess, seeing no marks on his skin that would relate to a garrote, fingers, or any other mechanism to choke with, that the air had been stolen from his lungs. I've come to a conclusion! <laughs> with. Do you share that? Fucking spooky man. Okay. okay. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> the murderer on this ship can control the wind. Ah. Right. Yes. Take your breath away. You must be really fucking hot. <laughs> Or she or they or whatever this guy Doesn't is into. <laughs> Anyone who would like to can roll either an arcana or a nature check. Yes. I'll do nature. Like dice. Nature. Like I'll do a nature check. Uh, I'll do an arcana check over the people who do a nature. It's the same thing. I'm gonna do arcana as well. 22. Motherfuck. 22? There's things about Phoebe that aren't quite adding up, and I have thoughts about it. <laughs> Birds are of the wind. Arcana, nature. Nature? Uh, 13 for Arcana. 13 for Arcana? I have a 15 for Arcana. Except nature. Okay. Yeah. Let's try. How many plants You've got other skills. There's like two Don't flowers left. You've got other skills it. like. <laughs> but you can't sniff them. Don't worry. With a 22, you've heard of such things. I know, it's good. You've heard of beings from the elemental plane of air who can be summoned for a task, invisible to the naked eye. And once their task is complete, they are released. Someone has summoned an invisible stalker. Um, I'm going to say that the group, well, off the back of what <laughs> okay, said, I'm going to say, not necess- the murderer may not have controlled the wind themselves, but certainly could have summoned an elemental to do it for them. You would see immediately like a bright flare coming from all of like my eyes, ears, mouth, and nose for a second, and then just kind of like. <laughs> did I? What? Did I? Did we clock that? <laughs> it's hard to control. Yeah. Um, I said <laughs> that the murderer could have summoned. Yeah, uh, no. yeah. I did hear you, but yeah. okay. Were the materials what? that the had related to? Summoning. What'd you roll for Arcana? Uh, I rolled a 15 for nature. I got a 15 for Arcana. You didn't see. <laughs> you, you didn't see. You're right. <laughs> so we all these we saw these flares. Yeah. Okay. Wait, literal flares? Um, oh, literally, my eyes just like lit like, up. What? Just turned into a like bright a white yellow light what? for a second. Just like, for, like oh, so you didn't mean like? No, no, no. I said like <laughs> my nose, my mouth, and my ears. Those like, things are usually light up when you're. I thought oh. you were. <laughs> Uh, my you ears know. lit up, you know. Okay. Like people are excited. Um, I'm getting real happy. My nose okay, so, glow tonight. So yeah. I thought you were just being metaphorical. <laughs> no, so no, Phoebe, quite Phoebe's going to say. Quite literally. Kind of really what? What? <laughs> yeah. What you just said. What? Why is everyone looking Your at your face? Was that like an Asimar shit? Why are you asking me? I didn't. What? Like, would, I, would the Soge King in his infinite travels <laughs> and he's turned to the sky? Just now, there was a light from your everything. Well, no. 
Yeah. Could be. Yes. No. no. Yeah. Is he lying? Inside check, and yours was a 15 nature? Yes. <laughs> Can I do an inside check too? Yep. Well, maybe he is a murderer, guys. Well, I don't know. You can't trust this, Kate. I got a six. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let loose. What do they see? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would have been telltale signs of like an asthma trying to stifle his like inner energy boiling over at the mention of one of his hated enemies. No idea what an asshole is. <laughs> so, no idea. No idea what that means with, with Maelstrom, so... Yeah. I don't know. You take that as you will. Yeah, so interpret just, that as Maelstrom yeah, would, but that's essentially what you all just saw. Mm. What do you know of these creatures? <laughs> well, pretty... Fucking nasty, and they don't belong here. That's pretty much it. Every time they come here, bad stuff happens, and they should kind of be kept where they are appropriately uh, able to exist and not cause harm to uh, us at all here. All right. And someone's bringing them here intentionally, um, that person needs to. Well, let's usher them off the ship just to say. Where are you from, Kylan? Oh, it's just a small village, not too far from. I actually never named it. I literally. I, I like, <laughs> wrote quotes hoping you'd be like, oh, this is the town name. Where is it named? Make it up on the spot. Bitter fire! Jeez, don't do this. <laughs> what continent? Uh, it would have been off the west coast, north of that. I had it in mind it was north of the city of that like jungle adventure we've been on the island. Danby. Where I was, yeah, near Danby, like okay. north of Danby, small village that would have been like farming and trading, basically. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So, um, like Nanak probably is in that general region. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like someone from Nanak would talk like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, you know, I just grew up at a family farm in Nanak. Why? Why does that? Why does that matter? There's something weird about you. Right. Not just your demeanor. Uh, did, not did I... to chime in here, but the one that I saw who could control wind was you. Not, to, not that I'm accusing you. Uh, uh, I can't tell if you're looking at me or at, at Kyla. Yeah, why are you looking at both? So gay, did you tune out there for a minute? I would just love for his goggles to go up and his eyes are just crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so this is a real serious thing here, folks. No, but, um, but like, yeah, no, but what, what, what's, what is the problem? I can control the weather. Look, I can Not move quickly with the assistance of the naturally occurring things here, sure, yeah. Look, that's about it. I don't think that any of us, I think that... Look. We need to find someone who can I think that the tiefling downstairs is a little suspicious. Is all I'm saying. Sure. I mean, all of them are, but, you know. Kylan. Yeah. What would someone have to do to summon one of these creatures? I mean, I feel like I would know that. Yeah, Kylan. for so fucking long. <laughs> you don't right to ask yeah. him, but. Yeah. <laughs> you know that you must be of a certain type of magic user. Right. Druids learn the spells through their communications with nature. Yeah. It takes a certain type of druid to summon an elemental to this plane, usually in times of need. Right. <laughs> but there's also wizards. Wizards can do all of it. And no one on the ship has pinged me as like, or I, I haven't pinged them as like a druid. Now, now running back on everyone that I talked to. <laughs> Are you dying? I'm asking. Just like, I'm asking. <laughs> poke? Uh, From the time hanging out with the crew, because like now I would be like critically running through like every interaction I've had on this ship thus far. I kind of check. Actually, no. Nature check. Okay. Are you sharing this with us also out loud? No, this. Is, <clears throat> well, no, I mean normal voice, no, no talking. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it would be this is internal monologue thus far. Damn it, why? It's one of my best. Nine. You need it's fine. I mean, I hadn't been idea. keeping my eyes out for it. You no one, no one pings you as being a druid. Uh, mm -hmm. And then there are five wizards on board. Right. One was very suspiciously above decks before. Right. Yeah, that's a plenty of time to sit in a circle mm -hmm. with some high quality incense. Burn and it. Tire themselves out. And then tire themselves out. You do right. know that one other item is required. It's one thing to summon 
the stalker. It's another to keep it to this plane. Mm -hmm. Usually when one summons the stalker, you can charge them with a task, but the spell doesn't always hold them here for that long. You need to hold an elemental gem, a blue sapphire, for Arab elementals. That I'm sharing. So yeah, hold on. Did I see a blue sapphire when I noticed the hidden objects that the people had downstairs? You did not. Hey. Have any of us and seen? I have, a, I have a thought. Right. Number one suspect right now. Um, I forgot the poor guy's name. It's my 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 field. My field. Right? My field. My 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 boyfriend or whatever. Yeah. I, I think I'm gonna go kill him now you gotta, gotta get married. I think I'm gonna go take him up on a drink if he's still chilling and then you know, I've seen you kinda nimbly with your fingers just you know, keep him distracted and just search the person, see if you can find him he's a sapphire on him. Something like that. Any clues like this? And I maybe, can assist you. Yeah, right. But then also maybe you know, if the wizards aren't looking, check his bunk or something. I don't know. The investigation he might be. He might be the number one. And anywhere he's been that we've known or has things that we can check, I think we will just have to do this right now. So what was then, the warlock's name again? <clears throat> Mortrum. So Hannah knows that warlocks can cast that spell. Would Phoebe know that? Hannah. Should know that warlocks can cast those spells because warlocks cannot cast them. Oh no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> never mind. Very good, good Um. Oh, there's the Chopper. Yeah. If Phoebe and Lord Soge were to go <laughs> beneath deck <laughs> and investigate things while Kylan and I spoke to Mayfield. Mayfield. Why do you guys go on a date yet? <laughs> this is like, nice. <laughs> Double against two against one day. You, <laughs> you were pretty good. Oh yeah, I can play a flute. Could you keep the rest of the crew distracted? Oh sure. Excellent. We have a plan. I can do Drunk that. egg flute. <laughs> yeah. Love it. <laughs> All right. I got it. Eggnog. <laughs> so, Chopper, how are you keeping them? How are you? Describe your With distraction. The eggnog jig, goddamn it. With the eggnog yeah, jig. Yeah. Um. So, Chopper. I we is gonna go up to the crew. I, what is what is the crew doing? A lot of them now are kind of sitting on their asses. Uh, you see a few kind of making repairs to certain p- parts that had been damaged in this in the crash. Uh, a few are re- retying some of the sa- riggings. There's some repairing old patches in the sails. Um, Notably absent from the upper deck uh, are Mortrem, uh, the first mate, uh, as well as the quartermaster and the cook. Uh, the quartermaster you, you um, have yet to encounter in all your two weeks. You've heard them talking about him, but eh. uh, but the cook, sometimes on deck. Uh, it's about dinner time, so you expect she's somewhere down second level. Mm. Um, well then Chava is gonna go up to everyone that remains and goes, guys, 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 I think it's time for a break. And they're gonna pull out their, the little bit of rum that they took from the rum goblin. That's a fight for you? (laughs) Yeah, and go, (laughs) I got a little song I want to play for you guys. Come gather around. And I feel like come around, they're gonna like give everybody like pass around, but like as everyone can take a sip, and they're gonna pull out their food and go, "This is the eggnog jig." <laughs> <laughs> go ahead like, and give us a performance check oh, for that eggnog jig. Also, how does it go? Um, <laughs> you can make it I, up on the spot, please do. Oh my god! Well, amazing. if they're playing the flute, have to, like, I have no words. I can. That's yeah, an really excellent point. I just feel like a lot of leg beat. Yeah, yeah. So it's maybe like tap dancing. I imagine Ron Burgundy in uh, uh, Anchorman when he pulls the flute. Yeah, he's like like walking across people's tables and carrying their fingers off. Well, that would actually make sense because I got a solid eight. Nice. (laughs) Okay. Very distracting. Yeah. 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 My heart will go Zero to performance. Just the petty whistle solo again and again. Oh, I'm so sad. 
<laughs> this is definitely a song that Chapa has composed on their own. Um, the, the ship, while still held in place by the ice, somehow is not giving them a whole lot of balance. Uh, and it's a, uh, it's kind of sounds like there's music. Uh, the eggnog a little old. It's, it sounds like maybe uh, the eggnog in this eggnog jig is jigging because it is gelatinized. Oh. <laughs> uh, you see, however, that the crew kind of like puts their hands over their ears. You see, you see a few of them start cringing. The so, like the two up on the sails are like, oh my god. Is it going to smell? Oh my god, what? <laughs> <laughs> Kyla, that's a sign. Engage, socialize it. <laughs> uh, and the like, rest I'm of you head sure. downstairs. Oh, it's frozen. <laughs> On the second level, mm. uh, you find Mortram uh, near his bunk, uh, and the cook uh, just around the corner kind of prepping stuff. Uh, the cook is the goblin crew member. Uh, What's his name? We've probably heard it over the point of... Her the name is Cora Pelt. Goblin, right? Goblin cook. The food hasn't Cor. been great. <laughs> uh, you also see the first mate uh, kind of standing over uh Blippi is uh, kind of dipping his finger in every so often, and the core is just whacking him with a spoon. <laughs> I like that his name has varied a little bit. <laughs> Blippi, <laughs> Binky. Stop telling me to taste it and then hitting me. <laughs> I'm not telling you to taste it, you just keep putting your fingers in it. You said taste it? Uh. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh. So you can assume that all of the wizards, Mayfield included, are downstairs. Mm. Going downstairs. That's, that's where yeah. we're headed. So the four of you head downstairs. Uh, Mayfield is kind of moping about on his bunk. Uh, Lord Noble is still casting his spells. What a douche. Um, <laughs> hey, Daggled Noble, he's got some stuff going on. Yeah. Lord Noble. <laughs> uh, what do we need? Sassafras. Yeah. Uh, Sassy. And then the other three wizards, Ilstra, the Tiefling, uh, and two you haven't really interacted with or learned their names, um, <laughs> sitting on their box. <laughs> I'll just... Uh... <laughs> Go grab two tankards of uh, whatever it was from that keg. So we it's grog. Did... Okay, perfect. like pretty, pretty bad. Like yeah, this yeah. is like last mile liquor. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, gra I'll grab two of them and I'll be like, "Do you mind making it a little better?" Do it again, and I'll just wave my hand over it, but don't do anything. <laughs> I can't. I, 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 mean, I mean, I could, but it doesn't heat it that up much or better. Cool. Okay, all right. Oh, also, season it. Yeah. Also, <laughs> also, it's really cold, so it doesn't taste like much. Also, I'm gonna spit in it. Yeah. Fuck these guys. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. You know what? I do press the digitate a little warmer. And I try to get it. I try to get it. I try to get it to be like lukewarm. Oh, uh, grog. Fine. I'll pull up my herb pouch and try to find some like very licoricey ingredients and stuff that I have for my travels. It's just like anything powdery that I could just like grind up and just put in there. Chunky. I make it taste like mustard. Sand. Yeah. Sand. No, it's like, you know. Pocket sand. Anna's, it's just in here. <laughs> That's a really weird delayed pocket sand I put at the bottom of the drink. And when they're done, I go, pocket sand. You, you need Two hours later. It was so great. All right. So I'm putting in like, uh. like anise and like all these other, you know, like cinnamon or some shit. I don't know. Just to try to make it taste a little better. No. The tieflings down here as well. And I'm going to just sort of like motion over to Mayfield. Just like with two tankards being like, you know, raise him up, give him a wink, be like, now's the time, you look coming. Not like you're doing anything. I put one leg and pull the stocking all the way up. <laughs> I guess presentation to Kyle's hair starts going just waving. You see that, like, like initially Mayfield was like, yeah. Uh, uh, no, none of that happens. Yes, it does. It's just the tankards. It's just the tankards. In the wink. Uh, on, on, onion. I've been. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just like go. I, I'm out of slots anyway. I can't really cast much. 
Yeah, fine, whatever. Just be back in like, uh, you know, like uh, three hours. Just do, uh, do the little arcane recovery thing that uh, Daggle taught you. Excuse me, Lord Noble taught you. <laughs> uh, and the gnome lady kind of like waves him away. Uh, and he comes over. I feel. How you doing? Want that drink now? Yeah, wait, are you guys just like... <laughs> wait, where yeah, are you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so so my, my <laughs> first thing, I came over there, and I was like, cool, we're all gonna have a drink. And then you got two tankards out, and then he's well, like... I assume you might oh. have it, and you know where yours are. <laughs> <laughs> so, I only got two hands, sorry, yeah. they can get their own. So, uh, uh, I... Look, there's a really cool concert on the deck. Someone's playing the flute, it's really cool. We can just go out and... <laughs> just like stand by and just, just check out whatever the unchanging frozen I'm... sea. Just have a chat and hang out. You seem like a nice bloke. Oh, okay. Is, is he coming? I don't know. Do you want him to not come? It's fine if he intimidates you. I know he's kind of. I'm just gonna stare at them. Look, it's not intimidation. He's just kind of a buzzkill. <laughs> that's fine. Why don't you stay behind? I'm just like. Sort of crack my neck in a weird way that hopefully catches <laughs> off. Uh, <laughs> you know, like come later. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll just we practice. I'll just know? kind of give like a nod to Kylan. Yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, Phoebe's gonna people. be looking. At, I don't think she's been like down here with the wizards yet. No, you haven't spent a whole lot of time down so here. So she's no. like looking around, looking for anything suspicious. Runes, amulets, sapphires, sigils, sigils yeah. you know, anything that just kind of sparks joy. <laughs> and I'll walk over to the tea one. This does not spark joy. Uh, <laughs> so you take Mayfield upstairs. <laughs> Sexy. The three of you are kind of like <laughs> sorry, <laughs> rifling through the mage's <laughs> stuff while they're still there. I'm, I'm just going to the bottom of the stairs and just like. Stay no but large wizard! <laughs> Scanning the room and seeing if there's anything that could conceivably contain the sapphire or I think that's the only the only thing that you said that they That's needed. the key thing to like yeah, hold long enough to like execute right. someone essentially. What's your charisma score? Charisma. Oh shit. More saves, huh? No, no saves. Uh, <laughs> Not a big deal, I just wanted to score. Yeah, what are your numbers, please? <laughs> Ilstra, the gnome, and the human remaining, because Lord Noble is still casting his spells. Mm-hmm. Stare at you. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, sneeze. <laughs> no one sneezes. Sneeze. Yeah, wow. No, that was an attempt at a sneeze oh, and a stack okay. Uh They just... They've seen you before. You being here, something good is gonna happen. <laughs> They're just like, hi. Are they distracted enough? That oh they, yeah. That maybe, so Phoebe is gonna just. If, if they're really distracted, Phoebe's gonna kind of like have you roll a stealth check. sidle off, yeah, and see if she can actually look or get Maelstrom, a good look are around. you uh, sidling up to the tiefling? Yeah. Cool. Um, seventeen. You guys are both on day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come and catch up in a second. I'm just giving you guys a second. What was that? It was a seventeen, but I have a thing. Fine, Daniel. You did just fine. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The tiefling kind of like sees you approach. (laughs) Sad boys are your type. (laughs) Sorry. That's you me. get over there? <laughs> we are fine. That's me. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say in Inferno, out of curiosity, do any of your companions carry a sapphire? That's what it was, right? Just straight yeah. up, point sapphire. blank, perfect. Yeah. Now, why would you want to know that? That wasn't a yes or no. Of course not. Who? And I want to follow their eyes to see if I can see who they look at. Oh, to be flinch. <laughs> she doesn't change her eye line when looking at you. No one I know carries the elemental gems. Not a blue sapphire, anyway. But, and she looks over at Lord Noble. <laughs> that one has a deep ruby. 
Hmm. I'll just kind of nod. And I'll stand up and I'll go over back to, uh, you know, I'll just fuck off. <laughs> you said Wait. Ruby? Mm -hmm. As, since I'm like still at the bottom of the stairs, just looking at everything, would you pass by me going upstairs? Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, what happened to your voice? Did you get I'm just gonna take a real long look at Soge, and then I'm going to say, it's complicated. I'm gonna look around. Is anybody listening to us? <clears throat> uh, all three wizards are just staring at Soge, so they're pretty focused. <laughs> we'll talk later, and I'll head back up to catch up with uh, Kylan and. Cool. <laughs> During that distraction, Phoebe, you kind of poked around a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you look at the tiefling's chest. And you see a luck chest. Go ahead and roll me that charisma saving throw. No! <laughs> Eleven. Phoebe, yeah. you can choose three. Yay, it's for the bear. Phoebe gets to pick all of them. You can choose two. Okay. One, five, psychic damage. Two, being charmed. Or three. You left the laboratory. You met with another group of beings. What did you do to injure those beings on behalf of the one whose emulet you saw? <sighs> Whether physically or otherwise. Damage and truth. Emotional scar. Five damage. <laughs> you told um, you you ruined Santa Claus for somebody. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh, what he's, he's definitely real. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, so like yeah, it's a group. That's uh, so. This would have been early on in Phoebe's like training with the psychic daggers. Um, so she would have used them, but not as skillfully as she does now. It was messy. Um, but at the end of it, she was still standing, and they were not. Including a small group of fledglings that they had with them. Ooh. The younglings? <laughs> <laughs> Literally fledglings, oh my oh god. Gosh. Phoebe, Gross. you shake your murderer. head a bit. <laughs> not happy with this. Phoebe is a murderer! As you look at the chest, and you see the giant rune A. Sorry, not A. <laughs> yes, A. Yes, Nacho, that was the one. It's <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're, we're not maybe north. there. This one is for alarm. Well. And you know that if you touch this chest, Ilstra will most likely be alerted. But also, Ilstra has one of those runes on her chest. Which one does she have? Oh, uh, sorry, not her. <laughs> not her chest. chest. Her foot locker. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Yeah, um, when you say chest, I'm like, necklace. The whole time I was like, wow, Phoebe just like staring at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Phoebe. Charmed. The, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so Phoebe's, by, by the time they're done, she would have like gotten back to with them and probably would follow them out. Um, I would love to. <laughs> Just, okay. So gay and the, the wizards having the stare off. Okay. Maelstrom, are you making your way back up towards Kylan for the plan? Yeah. Kylan, you're having a drink with Mayfield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's... I thought you said this was going to be a good performance. 
Well, it was, I, yeah, sorry, oh yeah, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was fine Can when I, I went roll down. a different one? It being like, ooh, when, um, eggnog jig didn't really <laughs> yeah, sure. do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's probably still not going to be good because I have plus zero, so... The dice! Twelve is a little better. Yeah, this one's a little bit more palatable. You you choose a, a bit of more of a sea shanty kind of vibe. <laughs> you see the crew's a little bit more into it. This is more their speed. A few of them are kind of like singing along. Uh, it's a little bit rowdy uh they also have flasks of course they have their own <laughs> private stashes because they know better uh and some of the crew are starting to get a little sloppy cheers mates <laughs> <laughs> you know it's, it's not really safe when they get this drunk sometimes they're you know a little bit mean yeah, look, you don't need to worry about that. No, it's, I'll, I'll, I'm in between you and them. We don't, don't worry. Look, we can just go up to the front of the ship. They can have wherever they, wherever they're doing that thing. And like, you know, just, just tell me what's on your mind. You seem so stressed out and and then wound up. This is like your first time at sea, first time with these your, your co-workers or whatever. At whatever point I do show up, like completely without saying anything, I'm just gonna pretend to be a little bit drunk like the rest of these people bump into this dude and just try to like as much as I can catch myself search his person as aggressively as I can <laughs> and then just make my way oh, feel him up <laughs> Whoa, that's what he's well, here for oh, you yeah. had a friend who was Once really good that, at that I'm gonna feel even like worse for being the wingman to enable that <laughs> yikes um yeah, and uh, you don't want to see, well, you... see me role play this longer. Yeah, you just gonna come well, up and do this right now. <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> go ahead. For sleight of hand, I believe that's a twenty-two. Damn, Ooh. I wanted this date to go on longer. Oh uh, no, sorry, that is a twenty-three. <laughs> and this could be at any point. I'm, I was just mentioning it so that, like, at whatever point I come up, I just I'm just gonna like bump in. We and will. Stuff we like will that. handle that then. <laughs> he rolled a ten. So. <laughs> right. Uh, it's you know it's a little frustrating with you know we told that you know you're going on this is the quickest way to get a promotion then you find out that it's maybe not and i guess your boss is a dick right always been man been there been there believe you me yeah it just like they make you cast all the spells and they're like yeah i did a good job and then you got your, your no offense your buddy's kind of mean about it but yeah well you know i don't know I've, I've, to be fair, I've only met him like the, right at the beginning of this. I get in trouble when my incense goes missing, and what do you mean goes missing? Like you got like, a thief on board or something? I don't know. Maybe I'm just like I'm just using it on the top deck because we're supposed to direct the wind places, and it's not helpful, dude. Makes me keep directing the wind back and forth, fighting against a stupid wind. <laughs> <laughs> you know how difficult it is? I don't have that many spell slots, man. I have the grand scheme of things. I'm like, you know, if we were to put levels on things, I'm like level three, man. I have like. Right, right, right. That's levels just a number. <laughs> there's, a, there's a hierarchy to these things. Well, sure, yeah, yeah, but like. Third degree elocution. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking her parents were right. State of mind, it's a state of mind. Look, you just gotta look on the brightest side of things, and I'm gonna cast light on his mug. It's like a. Ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. It's uh, a candle but, on the table. But to be honest, okay. to be honest, that's the best I can do. I mean, I'm sure you could do better than that. He <laughs> just lights up his finger. <laughs> yeah, it's good, it's great. What, what other ones you got? Oh, come on, show me something. He snaps his fingers and little fireworks come out of this one. See, I can't do that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, mate. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this took such a heartwarming turn. <laughs> I'm, I'm also like, I'm saying, like, oh, that's, that's beautiful, mate. I'm just oh, like, quickly looking over, like, what the fuck is this? So, guy? <laughs> right when he snaps his fingers to do the, the fireworks, and you say, oh, that's beautiful. I can't do that. Maelstrom comes over and just, like, bodies this guy. <laughs> To play it off, I'm gonna just like, after I'm sure he's gotten whatever out of, you know, out of this, <laughs> he's gonna get like, out of this. You even see I'm gonna like, go and like save, try to like, oh, like, oh, watch out. Like, reach I'm across the table. Just, yeah, I'm doing the like, <laughs> play it off. Close. Like, I have no idea this is happening, so. 
Just, just they kiss. <laughs> I grab his hand. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> In the fumble. So sorry. It's so romantic. <laughs> Sparks start flying out of Mayfield. I, I already like, have a boyfriend head. back home. <laughs> Look, no, no, I'm, I'm not... just trying to brighten the day. That's it. I didn't mean to encourage. Really into older guys. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you are hard. <laughs> look, look, I'm taking. I know. I'm like a leather bag over here. Don't worry about yeah. it. I'm only eighteen. <laughs> well, well, that at yes. least makes me feel a little better. <laughs> Jeez, that's pretty close. Uh, <laughs> look, you're right though. You stumbled into you, like it's good. Yeah, it's just used to it. And Maelstrom, mm. you've been able to pick up a little book. Okay. It's a small notebook, hand hand bound. Uh, it seems to be Mayfield's observation journal. Okay. He's been taking notes on the crew. Oh, fucking inner spot. Mostly on day to day activities how they handle themselves, interacting. It seems like he's taking notes on how to be a better conversationalist. <laughs> oh, Mayfield, if he doesn't survive this adventure, <laughs> that sucks. He has notes on everyone on the ship. Uh -huh. uh, he's noted that uh, if he wants to uh, quickly get someone excited to talk about things, especially one of the mages, Talk about Soga King. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Got a little fan club. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Maelstrom, your page just says avoid. <laughs> a bunch of like daggers and skulls. Drawn. With that, with that, um, that roll, do you think I could have replaced this book with some other stuff? Like, uh, <laughs> wow, gross. I'm gonna what replace it day. with the broken <laughs> fillet nice. knife wow. that I jacked off the fisherman, oh, no. along <laughs> with uh, just like a, a big tangle of fishing line. Oh no! Um, just He's to make up. So hurt when he goes for his notebook. <laughs> just to make up for the weight. <laughs> uh, to play this off completely, <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking through this whole like hangout thing. I'm gonna try to like make him feel better and stuff. So. And as I stumble, having kind of overheard heard him just talk about not having a whole lot of spell slots and it being relatively close to the end of the day I think Maelstrom is just going to be like oh I wonder what it's like in the crow's nest and then I'm going to cast a mention door at fourth level <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> as this like huge like rift in reality appears and I just kind of drunkenly stumble through it and <laughs> appear on top of the uh, uh, nest and then I'll kind of lean over and be like it's pretty nice up here actually oh and I'm gonna shake my head and just kind of sit and look around see he's just an asshole oh, an asshole yeah well look you jerk look don't don't let any of your coworkers getting your back about it. Look, everyone starts somewhere. It's Fourth level spells that well used. I mean, like, which which are the ones you hate the worst? You just vent vent it all to me. Tell tell me all the stuff that you hate about them. When you know things like like their favorite spells, where they sneak off to when they're not doing the work they're supposed to. No, I'm actually literally saying that. Tell me literally the answer to what I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of like playing serious. Like, what? No, it's a joke. It's a joke. Oh. Okay. Uh, cheers, and he's just kind of like, 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 like cheers, trying to get him more drunk like, and like literally drunk. The, just let him talk and see if anything comes out. He shares his frustrations with like trying to gain up the ranks in the mage's guild, mm. being knocked down. Um, Boyd, the the other mage, is apparently real good at like giving him little small gover tasks. <laughs> um, Anya is, doesn't really pay him too much like attention, but she's nice. Ilstra's real rude. Uh, and Lord Noble just has him going back and forth saying, yeah, yeah, you're considered for promotion and never does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is he a red stapler? Also, <laughs> also that's his fucking as, 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 I'm, <laughs> as I'm up there and I'm kind you. of like reading through, um, does this gentleman know anything about anybody wearing jewelry? Like, was anybody excited about, you know, talking about jewelry? Did he compliment anybody? Did he like, you know, that kind of thing? He did make a note on Mortram's amulet. In it, he says, not sea glass, question mark. You would. Oh, that's 
Druidic focus. God um, fucking damn it. And with that, <laughs> we will end our session here. Well, I'm satisfied. You can yeah. catch us next week at 7 p.m. Friday, our winter wonderland session. Oh, yeah. But if you can't wait that long, you can join us Thursday night at 6 p 6 30 p.m. excuse me, for our Starfinder session. It is going to be a, such a good session. I am so excited. <laughs> Until then, thank you everyone. Good night, good luck, and stay frosty. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. I was gonna puke you there.